Hello and a very good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Crafters TV and Second Chance Sunday. My name's Ben Mosby. Happy Easter. Hopefully you're having a brilliant Easter day. Uh, hopefully you've had lots of chocolates and you, you've enjoyed your, uh, your Easter lunch and you're ready for some more crafty fun. This is Second Chance Sunday where over the course of the next two hours we bring you some of our favourite deals of recent times. So if there has been something that you think to yourself, oh I quite like that, it may well be that we feature it on today's show. We've got your border panel dies there coming back. Um, we've also got your pop-out cards and those amazing uh, pop-up confetti boxes as well. I have not seen those for ages and I want to say I've only done one live show with them so I'm uber excited about all of that. Also coming up during this show you will be picking the demo of the day and you will also be picking the demo of the week and crowning our crafter of the week. Who will you be choosing on that front? Plus, of course, we'll be giving you another chance to win with our uh, Easter competition. Uh, get you a step closer to winning £50 or $50 to spend with us. All that plus triple points too. What more could you want? A great crafter to take you through the next two hours, I hear you cry. Well, funny you should say that because uh, with me for the next two hours, she's been with me all weekend. I have absolutely loved it. Uh, it's the lovely Debbie Robinson. Um, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. All watered, fed and everything else rested in between. Big fib, really, because I've been sat down here. You have. I've been sat down here, busy prepping away, working away. But uh, yes, we are ready and raring to go with the second chance Sunday. We've got some amazing deals. I'm going to take you through a few of the things that we've got on the show today, which starting with the decorative board of panel dies you are well we already know you love them are you sat on that fence thinking would i really use them yes you will because these are the most versatile dies that we've ever done it's like an edible and a creator card mm. all rolled into that one die that's got so many features that you're gonna be able to use it so uh, well a variety of ways simply cut it into your card i always show this one that anna did because i absolutely love this card yeah i love it a black cardstock with some mm. inky background in the background and it just looks absolutely fabulous so that's directly cut in but then you've got the ability to cut into the cardstock but not only onto the into the cardstock to create that edible fact and that one's a beautiful gatefold, uh, sorry, not a gatefold, a fold back card that's got it on both sides. Paper, paper piecing, if you love your paper piecing, you're going to be able to use this. And because you have got the ability to use it, you can actually have it as an over the edge die as well. So that is the decorative border panel dies, which I might personal opinion are some of the best dies that we've ever done wow. they're absolutely fabulous and i love them we've got stacked easels as well so we've got some stacked easels that you can use and i'll just fetch these two let me just slip those out away for a second ben so that you can use them in again a multitude of ways so these are um, a fabulous set of dies that are going to be able to make your easel cards with ease i love that so i have to slow it down a little bit so i can say that easels with ease easels with ease nice. then so you're going to be able to use them again in multiple ways you can stack them up on the side you can stack them up um, i mean this one i absolutely love mm. um, loads and loads of ways use them with other things that you have in your crafty stash as well so that's the stacked easels we've got on there we've also got do you want to do a bit of organization in your life ben she says flicking those up i love there. a bit of organization in my life yeah, I love a bit of road. I wish I, wish I were more organised. Well, you need the we've ultimate got the organiser. ultimate organiser. Exactly. Need. Little organiser that's going to just organise everything you want from your day-to-day -day life, birthday lists, to-do lists, um, recipes, absolutely tons of ideas uh, using this beautiful uh, wallet. It's like a wallet, an organiser yeah, wallet. I love it. It's absolutely fabulous. We've also got... I've only done one live show with these previously. They're awesome. They are oh, so cute and so on trend as well. Um, well. I think they call them the booth. Is it booth boxes or boom boxes? Oh, booth boxes, yeah. Something mm -hmm. like that. I bet we've got it in a lovely confetti box. So let me go. Let me do the, the trick is in the speed, Ben. Let me just see if I can do it. Let me just see if I can do it. Yeah, it'll hey. do. It'll do. <laughs> Where you've got the confetti. Although, where's the confetti, Ben? Where's the confetti? Probably crazy. Never mind. It. I'll show you how you can make these and to create this lovely, um, the whole of it, we are going to just show you how you can make these boxes. Again, 
Hopefully, you'll enjoy the whole of the show because we've got loads to cram in, Ben. So I'm going to kickstart it back off with you. Uh, well, there you go. You see, if that has not whetted your appetite, I don't know what will. Uh, loads of you already in. Kathy's in from uh, Illinois. Sandy from Bristol, Connecticut. Nikki from Oregon. Susie says, Happy Easter from New Orleans. And Marisol says, Hello. Happy Easter, everyone. And Nona's already uh, got the um, four panel border dies in a basket, checked out, done, and gone. And this is the way to shop. I tell you what, see what you like, get it in your basket, and get ready to watch all of the demos and all the goodies that we've got coming up. The decorative panel border die collection uh, with those 12 elements is available for you right now. Quick, quick look at the boards for you so you can see exactly the designs that you're going to get here. 38.97 or 44.85 is the deal for all four of these. And remember, it is triple points as well. So you're saving 12.99 or 14.95. There's your P&E. And as Debbie was um, describing earlier on, you've got the ability to cut into your card should you want for that creator card effect. You can use these to cut the whole thing out to use as a nice decorative layer. And then, of course, you can cut into the side, cut into the top. They are so super versatile. Beautiful for paper piecing as well, potentially. Then also in this collection, you've got your daisies. Again, absolutely gorgeous to these. Um, plenty of scope for creativity with those. A nice side to have this time of the year as well for your spring makes. I love the stars that you also get in this collection as well. Once again, you've got the main die and that really clever sort of split out a die, which gives you the versatility to do what you want. And then the butterfly. No collection would be complete, would it not, without these gorgeous butterflies. And there again, you can see everything that you can do with this collection. 38.97 or 44.85 is the deal on that for you. Wherever you are within the club, your Club Inspire discount comes off that price on the screen for you as well. And um, so nobody pays that price. As always, get your questions in, get your comments in as well. If there's anything particular that you want to see on this show uh, that maybe we haven't yet featured, then get those comments in and uh, we'll do our very best to help you out. Right, let us get across to the other side of the studio and um, get, <laughs> get crafting. Uh, with Debbie, the studio, um, studio. Are we uh, looking at the decorative panel border, darling? We are indeed. We're going to kickstart it off. I'm going to use the daisies to start with. Four, is it, I think it's four in the collection, isn't it? Four, if I remember rightly. Four in the collection. Yep. But you think about those four dies. Each die set's got three dies. Three different ways you can use them. No. More. Multitudes. The multitudes and multitudes. And if you've watched Sara with the launch and the, you know, everybody else who's been doing these up to now, including myself, you'll know just how versatile these wonderful dies truly are. And this is how every one of them comes. So you've got this one set, you have the decorative border panel, excuse me, uh, in the middle, which is the, the decorative border. Using this on its own creates that beautiful into the cardstock and i did one last sunday actually i did a light up box with one with the star uh, so again this is what you're gonna be able to do you're gonna be able to create so many things because you've got these two dies which enable you to create the full board as well so yeah. the potential that you've got with these is absolutely crazy for the time being i am going to flip reverse this to one side i've got a piece of cardstock and because i've got the ability oh can't be <laughs> Flip the verse to the go. right side, girl, right, right side. I am going to create myself a little feature of cutting out a shaped piece here, but I've also got this decorative part here. This bit's going to stay connected into my cardstock. So with that said, I think I need my big plates for this one, though, because I've got a really large uh, project with this in mind. So I'm going to bring in my large Gemini plates. And I'm going to use some low tack tape for this because I'm going to spread this card out. I am actually using double-sided Centura Pearl as well, Ooh, Ben, yes. which is beautiful. But we've got lots. I mean, this is going to cut out into lots of different card strokes. So with that said, I'm going to hold that into place. Low tack te tape, Debbie, low tack tape. Let's pop that on either side. One thing I would say is if you're not comfortable or confident in doing this in one fail swoop, you could do the decorative element first on its own and then add the outer die, or you could do the outer die first and then add the decorative element in last. So it's entirely up to you. Obviously, we are here to try and cram as many demos as we can in, in this two hours. So I'll, um, I'm just going to risk it for the biscuit. So I am going to go in there straight away. Thin metal die. And these are a nice size die as well that will fit through, depending on the project that you're working on, will fit through some of your smaller machines as well. So it's entirely up to you how you use it. If you're going to use it as a border strip, 
these will go through some of your smaller machines um, as well as your large ones too. So let's just bring that out for a second and then we'll take that off, do that lovely reveal which I always love on this um, and again really is a beautiful, let's peel that back, that side and that side and you can see now, look at that little cap, you've got this beautiful cut element so I'm just going to release it from the top and the bottom so we're going to go in the top, sorry the bottom and we're going to go in the top and I'm actually going to take that across that fold and then just take it down to that uh, top cut line because I've made this uh, a bit bigger Ben but look what that creates this beautiful stunning feature down yeah, the side wow, of your card that. and then you're just going to repeat it onto the other side so that you have got and I've got a little strip going down mine because I've got a little other feature that I'm going to use it with because I'm going to show you that you're using it as that border panel as well so on this one I've done exactly the same but I've actually reversed it and because I've got the other side I can do that you've got that ability to do so Pretty. I've got a little piece of uh, bright yellow cardstock running down the middle because I am going to add now take another piece of Centura Pearl and use all three together so making sure when you're doing this you tape it down really well and that is because power of the Gemini Ben what happens or what can happen it can move so make sure that you've taped down your decorative piece and your two outer pieces so that there's no slippage and no dye moving anywhere yes uh, so it's not going to cross over do you know what i mean by that where it doesn't snip in you know snip into the dye yeah absolutely yep so just take that down and then we're going to fit that through i'll put those two pieces how clever is this outer dye though honestly the fact that it's split so that then gives you so much more versatility doesn't it that's what i love about it's it so clever that uh, is it's what i absolutely love about them such a clever concept idea i mean edibles are a fantastic concept anyway yeah and the fact that you've got the creator card element in there too because it can create a card as you're seeing right now um, rolled into one it's like a hybrid that's oh, a, that's a great a hybrid, word. yes. Hybrid, yes. Hi oh, yeah. And I mean, we do both of those dyes particularly Actually, well. Actually, you could call it a dye bread. A what? Ah! <laughs> a dye bread. Yes, um. Ben. I knew we had you for a reason. Coming up with those fantastic, <laughs> fantastic ways. Mm. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's brilliant. Absolutely. I thought I were clever with hybrid bit. <laughs> You're even better with that dye bread. I'll take bit. your first idea and I'll slightly <laughs> manipulate it and claim it for my own, Debbie. That's what I'll do. <laughs> now what we've got is we've got this gorgeous decorative panel. And this is where that border panel comes from. That you know, the idea of the border panel. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous detail running all the way through this. And don't those daisies look gorgeous? Crying out to be paper pieced mm. as well, these Ben. Uh, but what I'm gonna do with mine is I am going to let me just pop some tape on the back. In fact, I use me, uh, I use me glue. So let's pop a bit of glue just, oh, just onto the back. Let's pop that one. There we go. I'm going to pop that into the middle of my card. There we go. Just move that across. And then I'm going to take my border panel. I'm going to snip it in half. <laughs> you are. I'm going to snip it After in half. After all that effort, <laughs> cutting it in half. <laughs> but you can you can know, do you absolutely can do so you can either in fact you know what i quite like it that way i'm going to Ooh, reverse yeah. it i'm going to reverse it up there i'm going to use yeah that looks quite nice uh, so i'm going to use my dotty tape pen for this bit so we're going to pop that on let's just place that down from the bottom oh come on stick stick and then this last one in but this is the thing you can get really creative with these you can actually die cut them ben and then act them as a stencil so you could use them as a stencil with inks underneath yeah, yeah. as well that would look lovely i like the idea as you just said of paper piece in this one particularly paper piece would look in. oh my goodness it would look absolutely beautiful it really would what's they be done with the big chunky bone pads the rear let's just pop that on peel that out of my bag there we go so i'm going to oh that's a bit big i didn't think it would be that big got a super large one there that's all right. i'm going to pop have a beautiful day beautiful. in the center i'm going to pop a little bow on the bottom there we go oh come on glue come on glue there we go and then i'm just going to add that little detail and then i'm just going to finish it off by bringing in some little diamantes oops i think i might have got a couple joined together there and i'm just going to add couple of little oh wait a minute 
the big gem's got something stuck underneath it, oh, Ben. Okay. So I'm just going to add a few little extra details into the centre just to make this pop out a little bit. I mean, I know many crafters will have a um, wealth of gems in their stash because they're for anything like me. You'll have got hundreds and hundreds and thousands of them. <laughs> because they're just lovely and they just add a little little fancy feature. I'm just I gonna like put that. a couple of little oh, extra not ones. Not finished yet. Not finished yet. Just to sometimes I have oh, to yeah, step either, away from the side. gems. Sometimes I have to step away from the gems. But however, I'm just gonna lift that off at the back because what I'm gonna do is make it lift a little bit more and I'm gonna add some glue onto the back of my matte black cardstock and pop that in that back panel and then just to make it pop and that yellow pop I've got some textured cardstock that I'm going to place over the top of it and again ready now just to add a verse or something in there but now this will make all the difference just by popping oh, that off yes, Debbie. and then when Boom. you take that you've got all of those beautiful panel features with that beautiful decorative element running down the sides and then just by adding that touch of colour underneath brings the, brings the background of the foreground, makes it come to life a little bit. Uh, and adding those few gems on just literally just makes it pop. I, I just love these dies. They're absolutely stunning dies at a fantastic price as well. Because if you think about the ways that you can use them, you're getting more multiple ways of usage. It's not a one-trick pony it's die. It's a die bread. It's a die bread. <laughs> yeah. You're getting bang for your buck with this. And actually that card, not only does it look amazing, but that was actually a great demonstration of the different ways that you can actually use it. Just a few of the different ways uh, that you can use these uh, decorative panel border dies. Just quickly again to remind you of all of the ones that you're going to get in the set. Obviously you've just seen the decorative daisies there, but you will get the butterflies, which are stunning. Uh, there is the, uh, the gorgeous peony. You talked a minute ago about using that daisy for um, paper piecing. Look at that one for the opportunity to get your paper piecing on the go love it uh, there we have the daisies that we've just seen on Debbie's card just a few moments ago there and this one is great as well the stars I just absolutely love now again this is a great day for you to buy this because you're getting your um, saving of $12.99 or $14.95 you're also getting your platinum membership off that as well if you are a platinum member $31.18 or $35.88 and um, the last time you saw this you didn't have triple points, did you not? But you're getting triple points this time um, if you buy it this evening with us. Um, I must just say a few quick hellos. Mary Kelly says, Happy Easter, Ben and Debbie and the team. Happy Easter, Mary. Uh, looking forward to a little crafting this evening. Uh, Julie just says, um, I've received these. I haven't been able to use uh, yet, but cannot wait. Hopefully, Julie, you'll be using them now after a bit of inspiration. Uh, and Nefertiti just saying, Fab Card Debbie. Do you know what? A lot of people, I think, having their Easter lunches and having their uh, Easter grub. So um, if you you've ever watched these shows before and you thought I'd love to get a question in but it's always uber busy I reckon this afternoon is a great chance for you to comment great chance for you to ask a question and get it answered and get your comment read out here um, on crafters TV so get in touch with us um, on Facebook and also on YouTube let us know what you've been up to this Easter have you yet had your Easter dinner that's what I want to know if you have had it what did you have what have you been eating what have your treats been today has anyone else had grasshopper pie uh, that Beth was eating a little bit earlier on not made with real grasshoppers as I I found out earlier on funny that the other thing that you can get social with us on is our vote now if you've ever watched us on second chance sunday before you will know you need to vote for your demo of the week your crafter of the week if you like um, and before we get to that point you need to vote for your demo of the day now um, we have going we will have seven cards or seven projects for you to choose from today you need to vote for your demo of the day so let's do these in order that they were done earlier on today on softer side, Bernie made this amazing wall hanging. That is absolutely phenomenal. I know lots of you took advantage of the deals uh, that we had on the show so that you could recreate this uh, back at home. But that's the first one. So we'll call that number one. Um, is that your favorite demo of the day? Well, <laughs> I'm, say I'm so not gonna that. lie, I'm up against some tough competition. You might as well just surrender now. White flag, it ain't gonna happen, Ben. It ain't gonna happen. Well, listen, that, whilst that is phenomenal, that, that is phenomenal, and I think it absolutely does deserve to go through. I do love uh, Debbie's effort from earlier on. From um, effort, effort. No, wait. No, it didn't mean <laughs> it like that. Not you know, you know. 
for Debbie's amazing bouquet of, of, of flowers um, from earlier. It is, it is lovely, it is gorgeous. The flower forming that took place there was amazing. Um, making the template as well, uh, pop the beautiful ribbon around there too. That is gorgeous, right? And, 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 on, and on any other day, right? And any oh, other day. All right, no, all right, no. Ben, all right, Ben, all right, Ben. No. We get the gist, we know where your sat, what is it? We know where your bread is buttered, what? where the land lies no, with you. No, 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 but on any other day, that, that's a surefire winner. <laughs> But isn't it? That is. But this, but this is. I mean, come on. That is pretty awesome. It's up to you though. Don't let me sway you. Don't, I'll just put this over here. Like that. Don't let me sway you as to which one uh, you want to vote for. Number one or number two. It's up to you. Number one. <laughs> number two. One. Or two. One or two. Get those votes in. How long are we giving them to vote, Johnny? I don't know why we're bothering, Ben. <laughs> I don't know why we're bothering. <laughs> you got five. <laughs> You've got five minutes to get your votes in and we will announce the winner. All uh, right, producer Johnny, I heard you, I heard you. <laughs> producer Johnny, that's what we know who the winner is. Um, we don't know who the winner is because it's down to you to vote. So please get doing that now and we'll announce the winner, uh, let's say at half past seven. Um, brilliant. <laughs> I loved yours, Debbie. You, you just... <laughs> You know, I mean, Bernie pulled out all the stops. She said herself, Bernie, <laughs> she pulled out all the stops. And, and to be honest, that, that was a great, that was a great pro I mean, yours was good as well, but. <sighs> love you, Debbie, love you. Yeah, Mwah. yeah, I know when I'm beat. I know when I'm beat. Let's and I'm, I'm, you... I'm going to sit down for a couple of minutes while, yeah. you're, while you'll get on with next bit. You do that. Uh, let's show you. Um, the uh, the ultimate organiser. This is a set that I've not seen for a very, very long time once again. Um, I think um, maybe it was featured um, recently, but what this is, is all of uh, the metal that you need to be able to create the actual organiser itself. So whether you're going to be using this, um, you know, to pop in, I don't know, vouchers or tickets or things like that, or if you are literally going to use this as an organiser, you've got all of the dies that you need in this collection to make the actual organiser itself. And then on top of that, you've got all of these other uh, little intricate pieces to give you little pockets, to give you little frames, to give you little corners to pop photos and things like that in. So everything that you need to kind of build the actual organiser itself. And then on top of that, you're going to get a whole host of stamps as well. So if you're thinking to yourself you're going to use this um, as a, a calendar, you've got all of your dates in there. Um, I love the fact as well that you've got all of your um, numbers through the month included in there as well. You've got all of your days of the weeks. So you've got all of your um, ordinals included in there too. So it's super, super handy to get organised. This page again here, you know, it gives you little pullouts, little lists if you want to organise. Maybe you've got an organiser for some sort of, uh, maybe you want a, a diet for example, and you want to kind of list everything as far as what you were eating a concern or maybe you want an organiser for a fitness regime whatever it might be you've got plenty in there um, to tell you uh, exactly what you need to know. Then on top of that, we've got little checklist stamps in there too. So maybe you're creating this as a birthday organiser or a Christmas organiser. Maybe you're using this for a shopping list. Maybe you want to keep your receipts in here because you work for yourself and you want to keep organised as far as your tax concerns are uh, concerned. Everything that you need is there uh, with more stamps included, little school lists as well. Uh, and then on top of that, um, you've even got more as far as if you want to create little mini calendars, you can. Um, if you want to create, um, calendars like this way so if you want to list ideas or reminders of things that you need to do and then you've got all of your um, months and years there as well and then basically once you've got that back I think the great thing about this is is you, you can go to town with this if you want to or you can be really sort of uh, frugal and make it as simple as you want. I think a lot of people sometimes can see this and get a little bit like flustered with it and think, oh my goodness, there's so much to it. But you, you can make this as simple as you want or as complicated as you want. Um, I love this particularly because I think this um, one here is a great example of using all of the different pieces. So popping in like your little important list in the front there, then the use of those little pockets um, for popping in uh, little photos or popping in little reminders. Look, there's our, uh, our Sarah and Leanne in there as well. But it's really great because it, it is great for the point of an organiser and again you can see how those bits and pieces work to allow you to use the pockets to pull out little tabs there as well for you know a shopping list 
to pop out that for your photos. So it is great for that point of organising, but I think it's also great for, you know, um, little memories for like a holiday, for example, you know, to keep all of your old tickets in there and um, pictures and all that kind of stuff. You've got a little um, notepad you can pop in. The point is, as I say, you can go to town with this. There's a little corner frames to pop in your photos there too. Um, yeah, you can go to town with it or you can keep it nice and simple. You can use it as something which is functional, like this one here for your shopping list, or you can create something, um, you know, like as a little memory organiser whatever it might be it's super super handy 73 pounds or 92 dollars is the deal on this today uh, you're saving 21.95 or 27.75 and first time we've had this on triple point so again probably uh, the best time to buy it because you're making that saving but then you're getting all of those extra points on top as well Right, next up, let's have a look at these bad boys, because again, uh, these were launched on the 18th, 22nd of March. Um, was that your birthday, Johnny, was it? How did I miss your birthday? Was I here for your birthday? Was I off? Oof, thank goodness I was off, because that would have been awkward, wouldn't it? If it was your birthday, and I'd have been in, because I definitely didn't buy you a present, did I? Ooh, yeesh. When I'm, up, when I'm up this way, Johnny, I'll, I'll, I'll sort you out of a present. I'll take you out for a beer or something. Awkward. Did you know it was Johnny's birthday on the 22nd? Yes. Oh, Ooh. Charlotte, did you know? Oh, yep. Oh, a God. birthday cake. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay, got you a card as well, did he? And you got a cake? Ooh. <clears throat> How old were you, Johnny? About 21, I reckon. Yeah, 21. <laughs> yeah. Right, uh, let us move on to the... <laughs> pop out sentiment dies you're gonna get five within this collection and i love these because you know me you know how i got excited yesterday about the penny sliders and i get excited about things like the um the little cards with the little twirling sentiments inside these are great right for the fact that you have got a die which allows you to do this I mean, seriously, how amazing is that? And, and, and whilst this is just kind of showing you the concept of how it works, I just think once you see it in actual action inside a card, for example, um, it looks phenomenal. It's the kind of thing that is going to wow people, a real mantelpiece pleaser, and they are going to think to themselves, how on earth have you put this together? It's really, really simple to do with just the one die that you're uh, going to get five, well, you're going to get five actually. So you've got your with love there. You've then got your many thanks. And if you bought these previously, by the way, there's a craft along coming up tomorrow uh, with Debbie and Joe, just for you. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I hope you enjoy it with my best wishes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as you can see, if, you, if you're looking at that for the first time, I'll just show you one more card here again. Um, if you are looking at these for the first time and you're thinking to yourself, difficult, I like the idea, but this is going to be super difficult to do that, isn't it? I mean, look at it, it's going to be impossible. Really simple when you've got these dies in our Debbie. Uh, we'll show you in just a few moments' time, but also book that into your diary for tomorrow for our craft along uh, at uh, 3 p.m. UK time at 10 p.m. East Coast. If you want to go for these today, obviously the, the, you're not going to get these by tomorrow in time for the craft along if you haven't got them already. But the great thing is uh, you'll be able to watch the show again back on YouTube if you subscribe. Get these now. And then once you've received them, you can watch that craft along at your own pace and leisure. 51.96 or 59.80 is the deal today again on these. Uh, making the saving that you're seeing here and getting triple points. What are you waiting for? Um, let's see them in action. Our pop-out sentiments. Which one are you going to be working? with Debbie? Well I am going to be working with the Happy Birthday because I do love this one. Okay. But what I love about these is that extra depth and dimension. So we talk about the pop-outs. We did a set of pop-out sentiments I want to say about a year or 18 months ago maybe now um, which proved to be popular and you know we've brought the numbers out recently but these these are a whole new level because this is an extra depth of a pop-out. You've got like a three level pop-out feature which I just think when you think about the engineering behind this this is sensational. This is something that I've never seen before with any company. Uh, the pop-outs have been, a, you know, they've been a, a trend that's been ongoing for quite a few years, but the way we've brought it to the market in a completely different way just blows my mind each and every single time. Because this is a, this is the worker die. This die here is the one that's going to work for you. Now, I'm going to show you how it would work on the middle of the card, but there is lots of other ways you can use this. You can use it on the front of a card. Yeah. You can use it um, uh, in boxes. Did you see Leanne's last week? 
she had a pop out box pen it blew my mind when i saw how she did that just absolutely fantastic and yes tomorrow 3 p.m uk time and i'll give you the sneaky peek of what we're going to be doing in the craft along we're going to take it back from start to finish and if it takes me two hours it takes me two hours yes but we are going to go from the start to the finish and we're going to complete it and i'll give you a sneak peek of what we're making if you haven't already seen so the idea of this concept is that it pops out it's like an explosion of a sentiment in the middle of your card or like i said in the front and this is all that you need to do and think about this die itself has got all the die cut elements uh, in there it's also got score lines in there and it's got a pair of Kissy lips. Yeah, kissy lips. Kissy lips. Was I love that saying. That? Was it yeah. you that said that originally? I think it was. Well, might have been you. I watched you and Sarah and I heard kissy lips oh, being mentioned. Oh, kissy lips. Oh, so, yes. well, yeah, good. Yeah, yes, I heard, I heard the kissy lips being mentioned. Because they do, they look like a little they bit. Do. Or someone said a little beak. They look like a little beak. Oh, yeah, a little birdie beak. Like a little quack quack beak. Uh, so, yeah, what you're going to do is take a piece of cardstock. Now, this is a cardstock uh, that I'm going big because I'm going big in the middle and I wanted a little bit of extra space either side. But what you must remember is. Nine times out of ten, a lot of people think you have to take a score line through the middle to, in order to create that pop-out fold, but not with these dies because this is a concept that just needs a pencil line through it or a couple of little score lines in the middle or wherever it is you're positioning it to come out and pop out. So I've got my little kissy lips on my uh, two pencil. I'm sorry. Two no, call them that. I love it. <laughs> I follow it better when you when you we don't use technical terms. We use things no. like kissy lips. Yeah, we we it's use uh, we use our own terminology here mm. at Crafters. Don't we? So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's nice and well taped down. Now I have got quite a large piece of cardstock there, so I am going to run it through uh, my large machine. However, however, that will go through your junior as well, Ben. It will go through the junior. We obviously won't go through the smaller machines. Thin metal die, normal thin metal die combination with any of your machines, whether it be manual or electronic. Uh, just run that through, and this die is going to be everything to perfection from the die cutting to the scoring lines already in there and it makes it so so easy there's a tiny little bit of what i call a manipulation and um, it's the only bit of this and I, I i am always honest with people and i always say it's the bit that you've just got to i say faff is that the wrong word no a bit of faff bit of faff a little bit of but faff. it's worth the faff not too is much what faff, I say. Is there? not, too, not much. too much faff no and i'll tell you why ben for a second because now you can see i've got all the die cut elements out I'm quite visible and I don't know if you can spot that but you can see all the score lines are in place as well now going back to my two little pencil marks I just need to just now nip these two in and you can use your scoreboard so I'll bring in my large scoring board because I don't know where my little one's gone oh it's not mine this one because I have a nice line going through the middle <sighs> oh I might get mine out of car for tomorrow's craft along and it's just because it makes it a little bit easier when I'm reading uh, when I'm doing things like this so oh, I'm oh wait, yeah is that is that so you can see the line all the way down is it I always I always have done and I, I have done <laughs> if you see any on the <laughs> crafters boards um it's usually me that's gone down with a pencil mark I get into trouble because ah. it's just not designed like that but it's just a visual makes it easier. everything's visual for me make things easier so what i'm doing is i'm just popping a couple of little score lines just in these two bits where the pencil line was and the same with this side as well i am not going through the whole of that no and if you have got your pencil mark on you just take your pencil mark off there you go as simple as that there's nothing to worry about <laughs> nothing to see there then now you also what you do now is that what we talk about that manipulation you're going to fold these words and i start at the bottom because talking about that three layer you can see the three layer of pop out on here so i'm going to push first of all these two pieces these two at the side are what i'm going to go with next so i'm just going to give that a little tiny tease either end and that's taking care again not to do those middle bits there so i'm just going to tease that into its place so again little t's little t's and then we're going to start here so this is where we now push this up now joe had a great tip you know here we're on about using um do you know a pokey tool to yeah. help you get it into place uh -huh. um i'm using my nails my tv nails that i've got are quite oh, they're quite good for things like this tv nails sorry yes tv, TV nails. <laughs> Fancy nails, fancies. fancy nails, and well, then they are you're quite gonna... fancy. First time I noticed them, actually. <laughs> and then you're just going to tease these. So your score lines are at the top of each one of the words. 
So you find what's comfortable for you. So if you think your poker tool will work to get behind your poker tool, pop your poker tool behind there and pinch it in. If that's what will work for you, absolutely do that. That was one of Joe's top tips. Oh, okay. um, yeah, he's following him into some now and again. Now and again, he comes out with some buttes. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is what you're just going to do now, and you're going to keep on manipulating each one. So the top of each letter, manipulate it with the fold, the score line that's in there. And like I said, tomorrow we're going to be going through all of this step by step. And I'm actually using the happy birthday as well, Ben. Brilliant. So again, now you can see, if you just look at the side, you can see those coming together and forming the bottom ones. There you can see it come together. Now we're going to start with the next level, which is this one here. So where the H and the P and the other P, you start to push those in. Again, manip manipulate those fold lines into the shape that it needs, because that's all it needs. It needs a little bit of teasing to get that into place. And then we're going to do the same with the top of those letters. So this other level, I'm going to go back in with me... Uh, my nails again take care making sure you don't fold areas that you're not supposed to fold uh, and again i'm just going to try and i'm going to try and do this upside down and back to front to try and see if you can get that better vision there and that camera shot i'm glad you mentioned your nails now because i've not really noticed those and now you've mentioned them i can't stop noticing them. <laughs> they're, they're very swish stop. They're, they're very swish. They're very, um, they're very in need of some attention. <laughs> is what they're in need is of. It, are they? They are indeed. They're in need of some attention, oh. Ben. Now, can you see this coming together? Yes. So all I'm going to do is literally, as it's folding over, nip those places a little bit more. Now, when you've got it bent into its position, I'm just going to bring this down. You can see that first line's going down, then the second line's going down, and then we're going to bring that back on itself. So again, just push it into its place, and that is how you create that. Now, I did say that that was about the only little bit of faff. Then yet what you're going to do is you're going to take, faff, new word, um, you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to get those burnished lines nice and crisp. And that would apply to all of the inside as well. So if I just lift that up so I can show you what I mean. Can you see now you've got all those pieces and they just need that extra... It makes for a better pop out yes. for getting those burnish, burnishing lines into the proper place, if that makes sense. Okay. Now, I don't want you to think that this is hard to do because how long did it take me to do that mechanism? Uh, about three minutes. Yeah. So that is the bit that's that's really quite... Actually, I better have something else up my sleeve, aren't I? Foot, 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 foot after long because we might get it done in less than two hours. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> so got a last long. I better long. make sure I've got something else long long ever. I'm just thinking then, ooh, Debbie, you better, you better get something else out of the bag there <laughs> because this might not take the two hours. <laughs> but... Ten um, minute craft along. Thanks very much. <laughs> Good night. But yeah, so that's all it does. It's just that getting it into place. Now, mm. like I said, tomorrow will be the perfect opportunity to ask lots of questions. But what I'm going to do is show you now, pop in all the other little decorative elements around the back because that is how that main mechanism works, which is absolutely fab. So I've got myself, um, got myself a card blank that's going to be in the middle. I've already done a little bit of decoration with that gorgeous contemporary watercolour card stock that we have coming up on the show tomorrow. That's like the front piece, uh, Ben. I've actually got a little piece in here to just stick in the middle because I want it to have a little bit of an extra pop-out feature on the inside so that you can see this blue coming out. And I'm going to just pop some glue on either side. So first of all, line that up into the centre fold, pop that down, and then I'm going to repeat that on the other side as well. So I've got a nice textured card going off here. Really, really nice and easy to do as well, Ben. Just pop that in. Nice uh, little burnish both sides. And I've got now, let me just get that. And the best thing about having all-purpose glue, I can get it into its position easily. And then we're going to pop in now our centrepiece panel. So I'll bring in the one there. Let me make sure I've got... <clears throat> We're not going to do an Australian card <laughs> upside down, back to front. Uh, but now you can see I've got my little inside feature ready to go. However, just want to add a little bit of decoration. So I'm going to bring in a piece of that contemporary watercolour card stock. And I'm just going to put it together again, Ben. <laughs> Oh. Because you can create yourself a little bit of a background, do exactly the same, but cut your words out. So now I've got my, literally, this oh, will sit okay. behind 
on the back of that panel and on the top hey, of there as well. That's really clever. So there's a couple of ways you can do it, Ben. You can either take your cardstock and you can use it to create the full word. Oh, Debbie, get it off there. You pop it down, take your centre part of your cardstock, pop it into the middle, draw around it and then cut it out, which will cut out the whole panel. Or you can run it through and then just cut out the words, which is then how I got these two pieces. Oh, I've lost my top piece. I've lost my top piece. Ben. Oh, it's there. <coughs> You put it on the card, didn't you? I put it on the card, I yes. remember that. I should yes. have said. I put it on the card. So it just makes it a little bit easier. But for this part, you need to make sure you've got some wet glue for definite on this. Because if you don't, Ben, I'll just get that on, uh, you're going to end up with um, a real sticky mess. And I prefer my wet glue. I know some of the other demonstrators prefer our tape pens for this particular feature, but I like to get it into place. And um, always say less glue is... More. Less, is, less is more. Because you don't want the mayo effect, do you? Uh, which is the... Mayo effect. The mayo effect. What's it, the mayo effect? It all squidges out and you put too much in there and it just squidges everywhere. Like you're having like your mayo in a, in a burger. That's I, what... Who says that? Jan says that. A mayo. I don't, mayo. Really, I don't like mayo. What? I don't really like mayo. I like garlic mayo. Well, that is mayo. But not normal mayo. It's not normal mayo. It's not laughing at me. It's, it's not normal laughing. mayo, but with garlic in it. But I don't like normal mayo. Oh, just no. that. No, Do you know just, what I like? I like, I like mayo, but I don't like salad cream. Oh, I love salad cream. Oh. I love salad cream. Mm. Can't have a salad without salad cream. Oh, you can't. You put mayo on your salad. <laughs> no, no, you do not. Oh, gosh, no. Could you put no. garlic mayo on your salads? No, I do not. Do oh, not. wash your mouth out with soap. Oh. Do I put garlic mayo on a salad? Well, what, do you put <laughs> mayo, what do you put your garlic mayo on then? Um, the KFC. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> on chips. <laughs> Yes, oh, I did. Chips. Producer Johnny, I had, I had a bit. Of, yeah, have you not had? Have you never garlic had garlic mayo, mayo on chips? No, I don't. Cheesy chips with garlic mayo all over the top. Cheesy. Oh, I it's had a Yorkshire chips. delicacy. It's I a have, beautiful, beautiful combination. I have had not had cheesy chips since I was about nineteen, <laughs> and I was leaving the nightclub at three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and I go to the, the local takeaway. You have a kebab, wouldn't you? And cheesy chips. I've not had. No, I have not had cheesy chips in years. <laughs> so, so cheesy chips with a bit of garlic mayo, right? Is that what you have? Yes. Yes, that's nice. I had to be fair, I've not had that a while myself. Uh, but I do like a little odd dip of chicken into the garlic <laughs> mayo. That's quite nice. <laughs> With a bit of gravy on as well. Just I to, bet just you put to... gravy on your chips as well, don't you? Yes, I do put gravy on my chips. It's delicious <laughs> gravy and chips. <laughs> and you yeah. have, sorry, yeah, let's just clear this up. You have garlic mayo and gravy on your KFC at the same time. I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? That sounds delicious to me. <laughs> right, nice treat. <laughs> now, come on back. Come on back. Let's bring it back. Come on, boys. Look at Debbie being the sensible one. Come on, let's bring it back with Debbie. <laughs> yes, we're going to bring it back. Look at this now so you can see you've got that beautiful paper that sits perfectly on top <sighs> of your three... Um, can I just show you again what I mean by that 3D pop-out part? Yeah. So the pop-out upon a pop-out upon a pop-out. Can you see the levels? Actually, when I think about it now, that bottom bit's got four. There's me thinking it's three, it's not, it's four. I can't count. Uh, so, but look how gorgeous that looks. And now when we sit it into the middle of our card, and again, this is a personal choice. What glue do you prefer? I know that Leanne would always say uh, use the tape pen for this. Uh, so you don't get that glue seepage, but I prefer wet glue because it gives me the manoeuvrability to get it into place. And then once it's stuck, it is stuck. Make sure these two pieces go to the middle part of the card, and then you can hold that down and fold it over but you can push it into its place in the, at the same time, which is why I do love using wet glue. Mm. And the whole purpose, as we all know, um, is a super, super strong, once it's dry, you know, once it's dry, it's dry like cement. It ain't going nowhere, Ben, not going anywhere. So again, just pop that down. And now, and if I just make sure I've wiggled that into the center part, there we go, absolutely perfect. That is all then, just wiping up the little bits. But That's can you see now? Super duper. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> Boom! Da -da. Pop out! Pop out! But look at that pop out! Come on, look at that pop out! It <gasps> is it's amazing! Brilliant. It's amazing! And I love these. This is a gorgeous. Do you want to see the sneaky peek for the craft along tomorrow? Uh, go on, quick one. Go on. Oh, look at you bossy britches over there. No, I just... Just a what? quick one, just, just a, quick a quick one. one. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Well, Sarah told me that everybody loved this card, so she said, 
you want to have a go at doing it for craft along? I went, with pleasure. What, so this on. is my take yes. on yes. the pop-out stage card that she talks about, which I absolutely love. So gorgeous card stocks. Yes. Let's bring that down. Oh, look what that's we've awesome. Got. There we go. That is what you're going to be doing tomorrow on do it again. our craft along. Do it again. You want me to do it again? Do it again. Lift up the stage. Close that in. Close that in. Ready? Ready. <laughs> da, 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 da. Pop out. Pop out. There we go. And you've got that lovely feature there where you've got your bottom lip acting as a stage. So this is what we're going to be doing tomorrow, 3 p.m. UK time. I hope you can join me there on Easter Monday. That's a brilliant. And Susie T, there's your question answered at 3 o'clock Easter Monday, which is 10 o'clock East Coast. One final question just on that for a second. Panda Crafts wants to know, is it best to decorate the letters with the different card and paper before putting it into the card or as you did whilst once you put it into the card? Uh, in all honesty, I do it before. Yep. I do it before I put it in. Um, just because you can stretch it out and you can make it a little bit easy for yourself. Um, so yes, do it before. That reason why I did this one was before I, put, well, before I actually put it in was just because it, do, it does make it that bit easier. Yep. As you saw, that was really quite easy to put together. Uh, very, very easy cards to do. But that wow factor you get every single time you open this up, whether it be in a box, whether it be on the front of a card, whether it be in a cube card, just stunning they're absolutely beautiful in fact that's me that's my challenge i'm going to set myself tonight i'm going to make myself a cube card to be a backup plan for when you finish that in the two hours that we've got planned for tomorrow hey and if you are joining in the craft along tomorrow with debbie make sure you bring your chips in gravy with garlic mayonnaise <laughs> oh craft along the champions tomorrow i tell you what uh the pop out dies i quickly i quickly show you you're going to get your best wishes in this collection you're also going to get in the collection your just for you um also you're going to get many thanks then you're going to get with love and as we've just seen with Debbie, happy birthday. That is such a great price for that concept, isn't it? And, and the fact that that concept makes life so easy for you, I think is why you need to grab it today. 51.96 or 59.80. When you've seen this previously, you've not seen it with triple points. So let's do something here. And um, when we come back in just a second, we're gonna announce the winner of the demo of the day. Uh, and we'll also give you more demonstrations, but now is your two minutes to get your cards uh, checked out. So you're not gonna miss a thing. If you've got something in your basket, uh, make sure you check it out right now. And we'll be back in two. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. Thank you for all the messages coming in as well. Interesting to know what you've been having for your Easter meal today. Uh, Vicky's had roast beef dinner with cauliflower and broccoli cheese. Mm. Broccoli cheese? Oh, that's delicious. Have you not had broccoli cheese? No, I have not. Oh, it's delicious. That sounds... Is it better than cauliflower cheese? It's ten times better than cauliflower cheese and I adore... I call them trees. The little yeah, broccoli trees. Cheese on trees is just divine, <laughs> is what it is. It's just divine. <laughs> Cheese on trees is just divine. Uh, Teresa's had turkey, 
vegetables, mashed potatoes, I love a bit of mash, uh, and mac and cheese. Ooh, I love a bit of mac and cheese. Uh, Shadai's had curried lamb and potatoes. Ooh, uh, ooh. Debbie, Debbie's had chips, gravy, and garlic mayo. <laughs> Oh, we haven't had anything special for our Easter meals. I, I had a cheese plowman sandwich uh, and a packet of Monster Munch. I mean, not great, not great is it that, for your, for your Easter meal? But there you go. That's what we like. We, we, you know, we, we do it for you guys. We're here. We're not worried about Easter meals. We're here for you. Now, oh. let's talk about this for a second. You voted on your demo of the day. Um, earlier on, Bernie made this uh, beautiful Easter wall hanging. And then that was on this morning on the softer side of life. And then uh, just a little while ago on our craft class, Debbie made the gorgeous, gorgeous uh, floral arrangement um, just here. Now, yeah. now, whilst both of them are absolutely amazing, if, if I'd been a betting man, which I'm not, I, I would have thought that one was, was going to be the winner. It was a close run thing, but I've had the word through. Debbie. <gasps> No, I will never. You're through to the final. Yours is voted as the winner. Oh, my God. Oh, Bernie's going to kill me. Thank you very much. Thank you. For, I am absolute. Actually, I thought that was a foregone conclusion that Bernie was going to beat me hands down. So thank you very much for those who did support me. I feel like an Oscar speech coming on. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for those who, who supported me through my journey here today. No, absolutely. Bernie, though, come on. That were absolutely fantastic. It absolutely was, Bernie, I've got, I'm going to tell you something. Someone's after it and someone's taking it with him for his Easter egg hunt tomorrow. Yeah, he's off with it. Look, look, he's off. <laughs> yeah, I'll look, Thank you, Bernie, I'll look after oh, it. I'm, I'm chuffed. I am chuffed. Thank um, you very much. So well done. Let, that's going to go up on our Crafty Walk of Fame very shortly indeed. And uh, well, in the, in the next hour, you'll get to vote for your favourite uh, make of the week and we'll crown our winner. Uh, before we do that, how would you like to be able to make stacked easel cards with ease? These uh, are just such a brilliant, brilliant idea. We know how much you love your easel cards, but what these allow you to do are create um, easels in sort of multiple layers. Now you're gonna get um, all of these dice to create um, these beautiful stacked easels. I love this one particularly, which is the book. Um, and again, if you're looking at that and thinking how amazing, how great for kind of putting your little toppers on, maybe from like your hunky dory uh, kits, for example, maybe photos and things like that to pop on these. If you're thinking, uh, I'd love the idea of that, but it looks uber difficult to do. It's really, really not difficult at all. I just wanted to show you another one here because the great thing is you can stack them straight, um, you can go uh, across, you can manipulate them round as well and they really are again crowd pleasing cards um, for all sorts of occasions. So let me show you all of the different shapes that you are going to get. Obviously you've seen you've got your little um, books there but you're also going to get uh, your triple easel hearts. We've kind of covered off again I think all of the shapes that you would want with these. So you've got the uh, dies to be able to create the different shaped um, size easels and then the decorative dies to go with them as well. I love the fact too that with the hearts here for example you've got the smaller hearts so then you can use these as stoppers for your easels should you want to be able to do that. But we've then got uh, your gorgeous um, ornate frames. Again, same sort of thing here, three different sizes. I mean, if you just wanted to use these as dies to cut out frames for projects, absolutely you can, but been designed to create that gorgeous triple easel design. Then with this collection, you've got your triple easel hexagons. Once again, the smaller little hexagons to create the detailing. Uh, and if you wanted to use those as decorative elements, you can do. Then, um, as you saw just a few moments ago there, your triple easel circles, love it. As as I say, I think lends themselves perfectly if you have got, um, you know, those uh, craft kits like the Hunky Dory kits, for example, just to add layers on. Or this again, perfect for popping your photos on uh, to create a beautiful triple easel photo card. Then we've got your florals, your triple easel flowers. Each one of these as well, by the way, comes with a uh, beautiful sentiment to round it all off. And this is the one I just showed you in that card a few moments ago, which I think is so, so different. The triple easel book. 
And again, decorative dies to kind of finish things off and your sentiment there is for you. Uh, 75 pounds or 90 dollars is the deal here. So that equates to what, 60 pounds or 72 dollars um, if you are a platinum member. Saving 44.94 or almost 60 dollars off the usual price and triple points. You won't have seen these before on triple points. So again, a super duper time to jump in and buy. But let's have a look at them in action because again, you're probably thinking to yourself, looks nice, going to be really difficult to do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. As my mm -mm. little granddaughter would say, mm -mm. it's mm -mm. a new favourite thing. Mm -mm. Is it? Mm -mm. Yeah. How old is she now? No. She's two and she'll be three at the end of May. Yeah. And it's a mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's all we get out of her oh. when, she, when, she's, when she's in that way inclined. Oh dear. Uh, but no, they are not. They are super easy to use. And again, these are uh, what I call a versatile die because yes, they're a stacked easel, but you could use these as a singular easel. You could use these in a multitude of ways. They can go sideways, diagonal. You can build up more than triple because we do come as triple stacked, but you could use them in a lot of more ways. You could add on extra bits going around. So you could start off with two and then go on to two and two more. You can take this as big or as small as you actually want. And these are fabulous. And then let's not forget, they're also a great nesting die too rolled into there uh, so this is how your dies all come to you so you get your dies each one's different i'm using the flower for this one so this is the triple e e <sighs> triple easel flowers thank you triple easel flowers uh, and you've even got even down to little detail of your stopper so that stops you know your um you stop your stop your easel from flopping over and then you've got some little extra delicate uh, delicate oh my days You're right over there i'm all right it will come out in a minute ben it will come out in a minute decorative a little feature to be able to add into your easel card as well so and there's also an instruction booklet but Handy. not just words pictures too are you a pictures or a words person? i'm a pictures girl if i see something visual yeah it's a lot better than a manual that's just got words because yes. the words just don't just work around. unless i've got a picture to look at and let me tell you some of those manual instructions out there these are really straightforward because there's some out there that are not <laughs> and i believe you me trying to get wardrobes together and kiddie things oh, together. oh don't just, don't no no flat pack but furniture these, exactly oh. but these are so easy to follow and a great little tool to have as well because although you've got the instructions and we've got oh, we've got loads of instructions on our youtube uh, and also on our facebook uh, from previous shows um and i think did i remember right there was a craft along with these as well yeah, I think there's been a craft along as well with them. Right. I'm pretty sure that there has been. Um, I think it was Craig that did that. Of weeks uh, back. So there's that one to look back on as well. So you have got that extra little tuition and education there for you too. So I'm going to show you. First things first, I've taken some white stamping card and I've already given this a little fold over and I've actually made them to the size of my outer dies and I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean in a minute so I've got three already prepped already folded over got my score line in there and this is the first piece that will create your first easel the second one will create that perfect mat for inside so I'm gonna put that to one side for a second moving down to the next one this is the second easel part and again you've got the second one inside there that creates that lovely decorative part for the middle the panel in the middle the matting and layering as our Craig would say the matting and layering so again you've got that next piece and also the next decorative a a animal it's not an animal <laughs> the decorative flower, flower, flower as Definitely well a flower and you've also got some um sentiments on here too and like i said just stop it as well as well as a decorative feature for the time being, though, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to place this on. Oh, I'll bring my big plates back out. Let's get the big plates back out. Let's bring these out so we can get all three on at, one, at once. So what we're going to do is, and the little sneaky trick to this is just have that literally over, like just slightly over. Can you see I've got a little bit of a gap going off at the top? Not too much, depending on how much you want the easel, but just keep it a little bit just over the top. And that means it'll stay connected into the cardstock as a whole, which will make your easel flow better, if that makes sense. But I'll, I'll, I'll explain as we're going along. So again, I'm just going to hold that down with a bit of tape, both sides. I'm going to do the same with the second one. So we're going to pop this on. Again, we're going to have that overhang just over the top. Get some more tape. Tape this down. Da -da. That one, that one there, that one there. And then the same with the little one as well. So again, we're going to go with the little one. 
I'm like it at home, Ben. I'm like it at home. Right, so we just pop those down and we're going to run those through all three together now. I heard you and banging I... out the tunes in there earlier on when you were prepping for this show. Did you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought I were... Oh, I didn't... Banging mm. out the tunes. I, f yeah. I didn't think anybody heard me. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing my books face. It's books face. It's 40 years since books face won the Eurovision Song Contest. Is it actually 40 years 40, to the day? Can you believe 40 years today? All oh, this is all for the UK because obviously America. I think Eurovision is... Um, is it just a recent thing for the Americans with the Eurovision? Oh, is Eurovision on in America, is it? I think it broadcasts there now, yes, but uh, it's, it's mainly a European song contest. It's been running for years. And Books is 40... I, I mean, I don't know how that's possible, because I'm only like... 25. Like, exactly. So yeah, how's that possible? Exactly, right. Uh, but I remember being, I'll, I'll not tell you the age, bouncing on the settee, pretending I got a whipped off skirt. That was it, wasn't it? Some hey, more, the absolutely. Skirts. Um, and I've loved them ever since because they're a little bit more than just Velcro and <laughs> Velcro skirts off there. Um, they're a little bit more than that, and it's their anniversary today. And I should have been, should have been a gig celebration. Aww. It should have been a big thing. But obviously, the world that we're living in has in, not enabled us to do it. So we're doing it in a different way, which has been a virtual, a virtual way. So I've got our catching up because it's a secret group that you had to. You had to, um, you know, support the group with. So you had to pay to get into it, I which I don't mind because I would have paid a lot more for a ticket, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, so, but unseen clip it, clips and I'm videos and singing. Not, there's not something on mainstream TV for that because uh, aside from Bucks Fees, I think in the last... 40 years, there's only been one UK winner, hasn't there? Katrina and the Waves. Katrina and the Waves, one. 1997. Oh, Books Fizz, 1981. But, but Brother I mean, Odom Man, 1976. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, but I so. mean, since 81, <laughs> we've only won it twice, haven't we? In the last 40 years. Yes. With those two. So you would have thought they'd yeah, make yeah, think exactly. about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. And to be fair, Katrina and the Waves, I mean, was she, is she Canadian, Katrina, if I remember I don't, right? I know, yes, I don't think she's not yeah, English, is she? I don't think she really, yeah, 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 so... It's like Celine yeah. Dion when she won it for Switzerland. Yeah, and she's Canadian. And she's Canadian. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm, oh, yeah. Like a bit of Eurovision <laughs> me. You know a bit too, do you? A little bit. Do you know so, the, yeah. what was the, the British band, the, the British jury that we had? Do you remember that year? With the uh, the two of them who sang out of tune all the way through and got oh. nil, nil point. Do you remember that? Oh, 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 Gemini. 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 Hey. I do remember. Remember all of that. <laughs> oh, bless. It weren't their fault. It were it were it were microphones. Uh, but was and it? earpieces. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was, it was all oh, that. Yeah. It was. Mm. Come on, let's be fair. Let's be fair. Now, let me just show you. <laughs> I'm going to bring back in. I'm going to bring back in my scoreboard. Because like we've some Bucks Fizz playing in here now, so you can craft along <laughs> and do a little dance. Whilst exactly, doing crafting. a little bit of celebrating. <laughs> um, now what I'm going to do is, this lovely floral, I need to create a little bit of an easel. In between, you see I've got all three pieces already. Like I said, though, the potential with these, we call them a triple stacked easel, but the potential is you can use these more. You can have two side by side, two of that side by side. You can have then two more down there, and two more down there. Honestly, is, this is just fabulous. The, the potential with these dies is amazing. So I'm just going to put a little score line running through the middle of these, and yep. I'll do that with all of them because I've got each one, and that'll create my little easel feature. Okay. So that creates that easel part. However, we need one to fit on the front. However, true blue Peter style, Ben, as you know me well. Um, let me just turn my scoreboard. I'm trying to do things, you know. Really weird position to do, and it just ain't working. So just pop those down on each one. Are you having trouble making your mind up? <laughs> oh, I just you know, walked into that one. Hey. I walked into that Oof. one. <laughs> but literally all you do is to create those easels is now everything's all ready, and I'll show you what you're going to do next, Ben. And I'll speed this little bit up. Oh. <laughs> With a little reference <laughs> speed there. It speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to slow it down. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I had to get it in, didn't I? had to get it in. Now, when you've done all those pieces. Be careful what you're doing here, Debbie, because you know the camera never lies. <laughs> oh, <Hey? laughs> oh, you, you, Ben, you got me there. <laughs> What you're going to do, Ben, is you're going to take your largest die again and you're going to run that through so you've created the perfect mat that fits <laughs> over that easel. Stop chuckling to yourself. Sorry, I just thought of another one. Come <laughs> here, you're chuckling away. So we're just going to attach that to the front of this easel part here. So I'm just going to get my... Um, There's no way this... No way. Do you know, That's I have, I've, third picked, one, I've picked, isn't it? no, it's, I've picked up the one that was, because uh. they've got a few underneath here now. 
um, and there's obviously some older ones here as well. So you're going to match this up and that is going to go and sit on top of your uh, easel part so it creates that lovely easel feature there. So you can see now you've got your main easel going off, although Debbie has not stuck that down properly. Come here girl, let me open it up. There we go, let's open that up. That's better, that's better. We'll get that in the right place. There we go. So now I've got that part. The next part to this is the decorative panels. So you're going to cut yourself a couple of these. Choose whatever it is, cardstock. I mean, I've chosen this contemporary watercolour cardstock again. Absolutely beautiful, which is the bit that you're going to use. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to revert to glue. Revert to glue, just, oh, oh my days, is it that warm I've dried up in here? Oh, come on, come nothing's on. working in here what now. are we having? Trouble with glues and tape pens. Uh, poor Jake with his sparkle. <laughs> God love him. You come in, Debbie, how do you get sparkling off yes? What have you been doing, Jake? Have you been playing? <laughs> Covering sparkling, you were. He's been playing and he, he's been <laughs> getting sparkling. He's got sparklings all over his fingers. <laughs> was that whilst he was just wandering up and down the corridor? <laughs> Bless him. So again, I've cut myself a second one because that's going to act in there. And I can actually, I quite like that where I'm going to do the alt alternate colours there. So again, I'm just going to pop this now onto that base. So I've got one easel card ready. We'll talk about that stacked easel. But look, we've got a singular one working here. Yeah. You could use these single as well as multiples. So I'm just going to repeat that with the others as well, Ben, because I've repeated that. The same for the next size down. And I'm just going to Put the little mat and layer just on there. So, little mat on top and repeat exactly the same where I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue on this one and pop that on. And then again, I'm going to just place the, in and the inside, let's just place that open. I'm going to pop that little mat down there as well. There we go. So again, and that's all you do. That's what you keep doing. You keep repeating that on all your various sizes. So I've got two done, one more to do. And like I said, the fact is here, you could go as big as you wanted yeah. or as less as you wanted. So if you want to choose the one on its own, absolutely. Uh, if you want to use the triple, use all three. Um, if you want to use more, um, then absolutely. And I'd, you know, I'd love to see, have we got pictures sent in yet, Johnny? Has anybody sent any pictures in? Nobody sent any pictures in. No one's sharing with us today. Well, we, we've, we, we've got a couple of easel cards. We've got pictures for Easter as well. That's a good point, actually, if you uh, want to stand the chance. This is a good show to do it on as well, because let's be honest, it is a little bit quieter with everyone having their Easter, uh, their Easter mm -hmm. din dins. So if you want to stand the chance of winning a £50 voucher or a $50 voucher to spend with us, uh, send in an Easter-related picture. So it could be an Easter card, an Easter project. Um, you having your Easter din dins? Who knows? Uh, and we'll put you if we pick your um if we pick your picture uh, we'll put you into the draw tomorrow stand a chance to win a 50 pound or 50 uh, dollar voucher uh, and that is true it's not the land of make-believe <laughs> I told you I thought another, another one, one another one <laughs> you're really good at this then you're really good now let's put our stacked easel together now I'm going to do it in the traditional way of one behind the other so what you're going to do now is you're going to place your base onto this next so can you see if I just open that up for a second I'm going to place this base onto this one here now I will use my tape for this because I don't want it to move around and I am going to just because wet glue takes a, uh, takes a little while just to dry. But this is when you can have a play around. You could move it to the side. You could have it going a little bit catecorded off there as well, or side by side. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. But I'm going to go with um, how how one way it's intended where you can have it on that um, joint there. So what I'm going to do there is just pick that over, just make sure I've got that on nice and straight, Ben. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one as well. So and of course you sure. don't need a stopper there, do you? Because the stopper is the Because they act as a stopper for each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah, you just need a stopper for this little mini one here, which I'm, I'm going to, well, if I remember what I've done with it. Oh, it's there. I've got, a, I've got something a little bit different for this one. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape and just place that on onto the top. Make sure I've got me easily in the right place first, actually, Ben. Let me just check. Yep, absolutely fine. So there we go. And now I've got, whoops, I forgot I've got wet glue on there. Now I've got me triple easel going off Love already. It. And then I'm just going to, on this, um, I think on the middle one. 
Yeah, I think I'll have it on my mint. Or shall I have it on my back one? I'm using what I've got on show tomorrow, actually. What paper have you used, um, Sheila's just asking? Is that from what, the... The, what, the contemporary watercolour cardstock. So oh, that beautiful contemporary uh, watercolour okay. one. Yep, yep. And uh, textured cardstock for this particular one. So, yeah, you can use whatever, you know, any papers. But this one is the contemporary water cardstock. And, and again, when we're doing the craft along tomorrow, it's on the show. And that's the interchangeable sentiments you've got. This is the there, interchangeable sentiments. Mm. I've got these on show tomorrow. So I'm just acting that as a, as a nice little feature on the back of there. And now what we've doing is we're creating that easel feature. But I just need a little stopper there. Now, again... Again, you have got these lovely little features, but what about all your gems that you have in your collection and ribbons that you have in your collection? These could act as stoppers. <laughs> I couldn't think of a word then. These could act as stoppers as well. Um, and you can pop them on with a foam pad or with some glue. I think I'll go in with a foam pad. Just need to chop this one down though, uh, Ben. Let me just pop that down. And that's going to act as a topper for my front one. So I'm going to pop that just there at the front and I'm going to pop on the front there my ribbon onto the top beautiful and it's disguising my lovely foam pad but what that acts now as is let me turn that around there the right way That's around brilliant. there you go so now we've got our lovely and I'll just tip it up that way so you can see it um do some extra little bits put your butterflies florals whatever it is that you want to pop on there but that acts now as that lovely triple easel card really really beautiful and again really easy to do and folds flat super always nice nice little feature there so it falls nice and flat Easy easels, wasn't it really? Easy easels with our Debbie, the triple easels. If you want to go for the stacked easel card die collection, 65 elements. Look at the saving you're making today, $44.94 or $60 almost, triple points. Um, and uh, these are all of the different designs that you will get in the collection. So you've got your triple easel books in there. Uh, you've then also got the gorgeous hearts in there too. Uh, then you've got the wonderful ornate frames. Uh, you've got your uh, hexagons. And you've got your circles and last but by no means least the gorgeous easel flowers as well get those into your basket get them checked out and get triple points on that so if you're paying full price today that'll be what 225 points you get wouldn't it that's just amazing or 270 uh, if you were shopping with us in the states um thank you for all the little comments coming in as well as i said it's a bit of a quieter one today uh, easter of course people are having their uh, their easter lunch and whatnot so if you want to get a comment read out or if you want to ask a question today is the day to do it um claire moore just saying on facebook i cannot wait for tomorrow's craft along i love the pop out stage card um christiana says on youtube happy easter cc team happy easter um i've got these dies in the mail what a good timing uh irena says hi debbie and ben hi irena um and also question from roberta saying uh, on youtube i don't understand why they vote so early on the demo of the day why doesn't debbie get to have a demo from her second chance sunday it's changed slightly over the last week or so because what was happening is we were getting too many cards and it was becoming uh, to use debbie's word a bit of a faff on a sunday so what we're doing from now on is um we're obviously having the, like the two shows where we'll have a project from each a car from each so like today for example second um a softer side of life and uh, from the craft class today and we're going to have the vote so that by the end of the week on second chance sunday we have the overall voice so second chance sunday will always be the show where we vote for the demo of the week um it just makes it a little bit easier and there's sort of there's less cost because i think there was one week we had about 20 of them um so there's we were here we were here forever uh so we've got seven to choose from today and we'll give you the vote on that in just a little while but thank you for the photos by the way that have been coming in and lots of you have been loving playing with these stacked easels like Anne, for example who's used the um that's the little book die isn't it Gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Ooh, ooh, do you know what I can see there? I know, and setting another it's, one. Do you know what that and that first one there? Ooh, oh, go on. I'll go back, I'll go I'll tell you in a minute, but that's from that do you know that lovely colorista pad that we did with the metallics? Yes. That's what that is with the ah, with the metallics there. Okay. And I can see one of the the guard the garden rose, of, uh, yeah, rose yeah, garden. Yeah, absolutely. The gorgeous. Love that Anne. But let me have a look at this one. This caught my eye because I, I, I like I it. I love that. Yeah, I, I like the addition that. of all the musical instruments. Where yeah, are they that from? is that is fabulous. I adore that one, Anne. Absolutely That's gorgeous. That's great because you've got the musical staves and the um, as the sort of the layer, and then you've got all of the different instruments there as well. The trumpet and the guitars and oh, violins. We used to play trumpet, Ben. Who? Me. Did you? Yes. I did not know that. Yes, I played. I started with the cornet. Yes. And moved to the trumpet. You started with an ice cream. No. Oh, oh, no. sorry. Oh, sorry. All right. And then you moved to the. Do you still and play I moved now? To the trumpet. Do you know it? It's been a lot. Our, our about. Actually, we're around time of boxes. Actually. Yeah. So we're about. Oh no, I'm giving me age away there. Fine. 
or about 13. <laughs> I was about 13. I used to be in school orchestra. I think if you gave me one, I could tootle it definitely. Definitely yeah. give a tootle. Whether I could remember my notes and things like that, it's, mind you, they say it's like riding a bike, don't they? Once you do it again, it just flows. So, yeah, probably could actually. But yeah, I used to play. You have to have a big set of uh, lungs, lungs for yeah. that. Lungs. I don't know. We, do you know we should start? I know we keep talking about a little uh, a band here, but actually, do you know what? So you play the trumpet. Yep. Um, D Johnny says he plays the trumpet. I play the fiddle and the piano. Oh wow! I play the piano quite well. The fiddle, I could, I could probably, you know, get a bit of the old fiddle going. Charlotte plays sax. What? Charlotte plays saxophone. What? what? We've got to, we've got to do something. We get a band <laughs> together. Should we get a band together? <laughs> should we, should we do that? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I would love that. It, yeah, we should, we, should, we should get out there. After the show, we'll all put our hats down and we'll do a bit of busking in the car park, see if we're going to earn a bit of extra money. I didn't know that. Who else is it on the team who plays a musical instrument? Uh, is, it, is it... Does Deanne play it? Does someone else play? Or am I dreaming that? I don't know. I don't know. Recorder? Anybody? Everyone plays Drums? the recorder. Everybody plays the recorder. I can bang a drum. Yeah, well, I bet you could. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, we are a talented bunch here. I tell you what, absolutely right. I'm going to bring my violin in, I think, after me. I'm on, I'm on holiday next week. I might bring my violin in the week after. You bring in your trumpet, Debbie, and we'll get a bit of music going in here. Uh, right, we are back to where we started. If you have just joined us, welcome. A happy Easter, first of all. Uh, if you've just come away from your, uh, your Easter dinner and you thought, oh, I'll just have a little look in, see what's going on on Crafters TV. It's Second Chance Sunday. Uh, still to come in the next, ooh, uh, 45 minutes, we will be letting you vote on your demo of the week and crowning our crafter of the week and also be bringing you uh, more great demos as well. We still started off uh, with the decorative panel uh, border die collection um, and that is where we are uh, back to right now. Uh, triple points on everything don't forget as well this is up until the end of play tomorrow um, so a good chance to pick up these deals like we've said these are just brilliant for the fact that they are uh, as we've named them die bridges. the fact that you can do so many different things with them um, you can create your creator cards you can create uh, kind of your edgeables with these as well you can use what you've got you see is you've got the outer layer die which is split into two pieces and that gives you the versatility and if you want to use that as a whole and cut everything out you can use these as layered options on your cards as well so there's so many different ways cut into your card cut to your side of your card as an edible or cut out of your card just so super and as we've been chatting about there's your butterflies some of these absolutely perfect for things like your paper piecing as well this is the peony the pretty peony look at all of the detail that you've got there and once again shows you the different ways that you can use them um, thus proving the versatility of this collection uh, if you missed the start of the show this was the first demo that Debbie we did a little bit earlier on with those glorious daisies and then finally in this collection I think they're super superstars um, again that comes uh, in this collection 12 elements in total because of course you get your main die and then the two outer dies so as you can see it shows you that you can cut either side uh, you can cut into the cardstock or you can cut the whole thing out if you want to do that I think that's a stunning price today 38.97 or 44.85 when you think about this you know as not being a one-trick pony as being something that you can come back to time and time and time again and do so many different things with grab it today if you haven't already 38.47 44.85 saving 12.99 or 14.95 and triple points for you as well right uh let's get another demo going and then i guess we'll let you start voting on your, uh, the demo of the week in just a few moments time so we saw the daisies yes we did like the daisies Day uh, what are you going to be showing us next? The superstars. 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 The absolute gorgeous superstars. This is what I made my light up box with last week. Because oh, again, yes. beautiful, beautiful dies um, and versatile, so versatile, incredibly easy to use as well. Um, I'm going to actually do a little bit of a cutting through some cardstock into there and then using the all of it to add the extra detail on there as well so in my little break when i was sat down tootling away and singing my books for songs <laughs> um i have made myself a little dl shaped card using stamping card and then chosen some really quite striking black and white paper here i think that's quite nice i've already glued it on though because i needed it to dry ben um so if you are going to be doing this technique of popping this in and cutting straight through um, make sure if you're using wet glue that it's fully dry before you attempt to die cut through because 
you'll end up with a splurgy mess. And that's and you, the last thing you want. You don't want a splurgy mess. Don't want a splurgy mess, no. So <laughs> I'm using my big plates again just because um, I've just popped this on to, uh, so that I've got it all hanging out here. Um, I've actually put my metal shim in because I'm actually cutting through cardstock and a paper there as well. So I want to give it a little bit of an extra oomph. Extra Oof. crunch, extra way of going through, but we all know that the Gemini can be a quite a powerful machine. Um, so what we're going to do is just take this down again, and I've just placed that there. In fact, actually, I'm just going to shovel it over a bit because I've got a little panel going down the side. So yeah, that'll do. We'll have it there. Right. So we're going to hold that down with low tack tape. Again, thin metal die combination on the top. So we'll just run that through, and there we go. As simple as that, Ben. Um, Diana just saying, I ordered this set of border dies the other day. I cannot wait to get them. Goodbye. I think they're super versatile. Did you? <laughs> what? Yeah, but, uh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. 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 Um, did you not say I that you thought... Goodbye. No, not goodbye. We're not saying goodbye yet. I meant goodbye, as in... No, no, no. Goodbye. Great bye. Great one. Good one. <laughs> Great shopping. Great purchase is what I meant to say. But you were saying you thought these... Well, one of the best, did you say the best launches ah, this absolutely. year? Absolutely, one of the best launches this year. Yeah. Well, I said that and then I saw Friday's launch, which oh, I've just yeah. had to have. Mm. Uh, they're up there. They are definitely up there this because is, they're so versatile. Gorgeous. I love them. I love the idea that you can create this versatility of using them in so many different ways. So when I'm just going to, I'm just going to take this off and let me take it off carefully, Ben. I don't want to rip the pattern paper. Ooh, ooh. There we go. So rip, rip. <laughs> nope. Pull, pull gently, pull gently, coerce. pull gently, curse it off. Oh, curse it off. No, co coerce it off. Coerce it off. Yeah. <laughs> coerce we'll it, curse it off not, if you want not to. Not curse it off. Yep. <laughs> Dear me, I should think about what I'm saying sometimes. No, uh, and just <laughs> then poke out my little bits. Now, bearing in mind, this has had to cut through pattern cardstock yeah. as well as um, as pat. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, 300 GSM. Yeah. And then a pattern cardstock on top of it as well. I'm trying to work it out then in my head how much that's had to cut through. But again, we all do know, people who own a Gemini completely understand when I say, you know that it's a powerful machine and can cut through multiple layers at any one given time. As this has clearly shown, let me just move that to one side for a second. So now you can see, and if I turn it over, you'll be able to see it a bit more clearer. Oh yeah, little oh, devil, beauty. get back in there. Uh, so now, not yeah. happy till I've got them all out. Oh, uh, now, over there. <laughs> Exactly. Now that has cut through there absolutely perfectly. And I'm going to just add a little bit of silver cardstock in the background. But I just love that versatility again of being able to use this. So I'm taking some of our luxury silver... Um, mm, glitter card. Glitter card, thank you. Encapsulated glitter card. Mm. Uh, check the website out. It's absolutely fabulous. It's that non-shedding glitter. We've got which loads I absolutely of it in stock, love. I think, haven't we? In all the different colours currently. Yeah. I'm sure we have. I know yeah. we triple points. This on that. is from the ten do you know the ten sheets? Do you know that you get in a pack of ten? Oh, you get ten. Yeah, of the... The, yeah, and you've got loads of different colours. Mm. This one I took I took from there. Um but then you've got the other ultimate luxury ones, which has got the glitter card stock in, the map mirror and the mirror card as well. Now that just gives it a little bit of a backdrop there in the background. However, I want it to pop out a little bit more. Ben. So, I am going to bring in, let me bring in now, all the pieces, where's my black piece? And pretty much similar to what I did on that very first demo, I'm going to use this as a full border die now by simply bringing in all three pieces. So I'm going to just pop that into place, there we go, and then I'm going to take the other die and I'm going to place that on top of there, let me just shuffle that over a little bit. There we go, pop those two and bearing in mind when you're doing this again, if you're going to do it in that one stage, make sure you tape down top part and bottom part and the panel so nothing moves when it mm -hmm. goes through the Gemini, okay? And then we're going to run that through now, it's just normal standard card this, so should go through with that one pass without the use of uh, metal shim for this one. Um, just think about chosen cardstock, whether or not you need to add the metal shim. Um, Anne's just joined us saying, uh, I was actually late to the show today because I was working on a butterfly light box with these. Is it you that's kind of brought the light box back, Debbie? Was it yeah. you, you sort of brought back the trend <laughs> of light boxes? Yeah, I feel... because I absolutely love 
love yeah. the concept of it. It's something I'm, I'm, I have done. I'm not going to apologise for making quite a few recently. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but I do love a light-up box. Same with the light-up cards. I just love something yeah. with a little bit of dimension. Uh, and that's exactly uh, what the light-up box does. But these work beautifully because you cut directly in. Um, so we did it with the star last week. If you're wondering, um, check out on the... Um, Last week's, I think it was the last week's Second Chance Sunday. Yes, it was. It was last week's Second Chance Sunday. Um, and I did the light-up box. I did it with some purple Centura Pearl cardstock. Oh, and I've yes. had some lovely messages this week. Um, and people who've shared their makes. Because it wasn't a craft along as such. But I did share some instructions on there on how to do that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I, I do love them. I think the next opportunity I get with one of the Creator Card Rangers, I will do a craft along with um, that exactly super deep because i do love i do love a good light up box i'm actually just going to use though can you see here let me just show you can you see i've got a few stars i'm gonna i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna chuck those away ben i want to keep these because i'm gonna use them as a little decorative panel as well because you've got lovely little features in here yeah um extra come on you out you come out you come there we go have i got them all out no one more One at the top isn't there is there, there one go. more where did you see that one ben there, we've got another one. Let's yeah, have a look. There you go, it's just falling out. Have I got them all? Uh, no, I've got, there's oh, a few it's... more. There's a few more in there. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy with those few that I've got. So, now what I have got is this gorgeous decorative element, which now, I'll just move those to one side. Now, when you line this up, and let me make sure I've got it the right way around, it literally fits over and sits across that decorative panel and makes it literally pop off the cardstock. So I'm going to bring in my dotty tape pen for this. Bring in my dotty tape pen, run that around. There we go. There's chat about people using this star one for a 4th of July card or a 4th of <gasps> July light box. What as well. a cracking idea. Love that, Anne. that is a great idea, Anne. Absolutely yes. a great idea. Perfect. This is what I love about our crafting community, Ben. We all have ideas, yeah. you know, and we all share our ideas whether it be on the social media pages between ourselves, but the lovely crafting community that we have um, at Crafters Companion, I think is one of the best in the business. I do. In all honesty. Do you know what? Mariposa on YouTube. What a lovely name, Mariposa. Mariposa, um, that's a beautiful name. Says, I truly love this company from the staff to the products to the customer service. So that, we really appreciate that, Mariposa. That's we, lovely, um, yeah, yeah, that is lovely. Glad that we love, it so, uh, love her so much. And, and also, Sally, Sally from North Devon says, Debbie, yes? Sarah borrowed the lights um, out of your box the other <gasps> day. Just saying, lol. Sally, I was going to keep that quiet. And you Come on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rewind, rewind. Let's just have a minute. Let's just have a minute. What was happening? What did Sarah do Friday? You know your light box that you made? It had the purple lights in it, didn't it? I did it. Has she been thieving my she lights? She might have borrowed the lights on Friday on our launch day show and used them to demonstrate. Now, did she give box. me credit, Ben? Did she give me credit? I can't remember. You'd have to re watch the time. I'm going to be re watching it. Say. There's going to be a steward's inquiry uh, involved in this yeah. one. My goodness. Johnny, Johnny, did she give credit? I can't remember. Oh, I think, ooh, 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 so I think she, no, she didn't give any. The little monkey. What Sally, is she what have you like? done? You've let the cat ooh, out of the bag here. Oh, dear. Wait till I see the boss. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> uh, it's a good job I love her, isn't That's it? That's it, isn't it? It's a see, good job I love get her. Get away with it. Yeah, she can actually. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> Sorry, I can get away with it because we all love her so much. <laughs> so that's why she gets the way we all thought she does. <laughs> so uh, what I'm just going to do, Ben, is I'm going to add a little strip. Let's pop this little strip down here. Oh, she's a little devil. <laughs> I, I had remembered that, but I sort of thought, I'll keep that quiet just in you case. You did keep that quiet, didn't you? Yeah. You, weren't, you weren't divulging that no, little bit of information from not, me, were you? Not not it's the it? I love you, Debbie, but when it's the boss, you know, keep, keep the secrets. <laughs> Keeping the boss's good books, you know, you know how it works. So when I go to my purple box, is there no lights in it anymore? Well, I haven't just, put them, just, I haven't put just, them back. Let's just put it... Johnny, just, did you just, put them back? Uh, where's, no. that, where's that Jake? I need to speak to that Jake. Has he, has he put my light box? Has he put my lights yeah. back in my box? I don't know. Is he still wandering the corridors? <laughs> <laughs> it could well be. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, I'm just going to add on the back a couple of foam pads because I've got myself um, a couple of little sentiments. It's your time to shine. 
And because you are, Ben, let me get the other piece of uh, foam pad just on the back. Oh, come on, foam pads, come off. Come, come on, off. foam pads. Come on, foam pads. I want you off there. Right, let's get that off the back in. Yeah. Because, Ben, yes. you are yes. amazing. Oh, thank there you, we go. Debbie. Back and at there you. we've got another card finished. There we are. Uh, with the border panels and it creates this lovely see through wait a minute have i stuck it oh general i've put my oh. silver bit on <laughs> my wrong dl card <sighs> what are you done because i had this bit i had this bit because right? you know i have it in stages and have it prepped just in uh, case anything goes wrong on live tv wrong... because yeah. it can happen uh i put my silver one in this one Ah. So it's not in the mind on that one. So then one and a half so that, cards. So hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Love that. Go true, old crafter. Yep. You have to think on your feet. So there you go. A beautiful concept. A really gorgeous concept as well. I love these. Uh, brilliant. Love, them. love, love, love it. Uh, Nona saying, Ben, you could reach for the stars uh, with this die. Absolutely, you could, couldn't you? Amazing. Don't forget, if you're going for the decorative panel border dies, I know loads of you have ordered this already, uh, but this is a great day to buy. I think for that price and for the versatility that you get with these, it's really something you should consider going for today uh, if you haven't already got don't forget you're making that saving and don't forget best time to buy them because last time you saw these they wouldn't have had triple points on you've got triple points on all purchases up until the end of play tomorrow this is right across all the shows and right across uh, the website as well this collection as you've already seen brings you the stars that we've just seen in that last demonstration there and again the fact that you've got that sort of split out of die gives you the ability to cut left right um, in the middle of the card out of the card so much choice but as well as the stars you're going to get the beautiful butterflies uh, you're going to get the gorgeous peony i think that might be my favorite actually within this collection i love it uh, and then the demo which debbie showed us a little bit earlier on were those daisies so all four of those it's 12 elements in total uh, are you saving 12.99 or 14.95 today and receiving triple points on those as well right let us now do uh the demo of the week there's, there's seven of these now. For, for those of you who've just joined and you think, well, how come there's only seven? What, it happens, what happens now? We've had to sort of get it down a bit because there were so many of them. So what you're going to see from now on, there will be two demos, obviously, each day that will be going through to the demo of the day. Then you will vote for your favourite demo of that day, all right? And then it will go through to Sunday. So on Second Chance Sunday, there won't be a, a demo going through in that show. You'll just vote for uh, your favourite demo of the week, which is what we're going to do now. So there was, last time we did this, there was minimum 14. And I think there were some days, I mean, I, I did it once, a couple of days chucking in a few more. And I think one day we had about 20 or 21 of them. So, um, did anybody see you last Sunday show? <laughs> I did not. Yes, yeah, last Sunday show, so some uh -oh. got missed off. Some got missed off, not intentionally at all, but it just makes it a little bit easier, doesn't it, Ben? You're it right. Does. Just makes it so much easier. And we're not competitive all here. Not at all. Not competitive at all. And, 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 and let's also just remember, this, it's only a, only a bit of fun. Nobody, yes. nobody wins anything apart from your <laughs> admiration, um, which, is, which is worth a lot. But anyway, here we go. So card number one is this Easter card, the Easter bunny card with the, the bunny butt, uh, which is uh, Craig's from Monday Makers. I love Makers. that. I just love that. That is so cute. Um, so if you like that, that is card number one. It's Easter time. Next up <laughs> is card number two, Debbie Ooh. Fisher from Tuesday's Masterclass. Oh, beautiful. Very Absolutely different. gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful, that, Debs. But uh, yeah, beautiful in its own right. So that is number two. Card number three, uh, this again was Mr. Craig Laird. He's got four cards in today, so he stands a great chance of, um, of winning this. Um, I don't know what show this was from, uh, but that is a Craig creation. I think it was um, Creative Cravings on Wednesday, so that is Craig number three. Next up, this is Craig's from the Craft Along. Hang on a minute, what's going off here, like? What's happened here? What's going here? off here, like? What's going on here? <laughs> Has he been pinching my ideas? I think he has. <laughs> it's took me light box. I think he has. <laughs> What's going on there? Are we, are we putting that? No, we are putting that one in. That is number four, all right? So Craig's light box, number four. Next up, 
<laughs> Are you bored of him yet? Because this is Craig's as well. This was from Colour Me Happy on uh, Friday with me. Uh, with, this was from the, um, the Glitter Marker stamp collection, wasn't it? With that glorious fairy door. So that's Craig. Number five. Beautiful bit of colour in there, Craig. That's gorgeous. Very nice. Beautiful, yeah. Those glitter markers are beautiful. Yeah, glitter um, really coming to the fore there. So that's number five. Thankfully, that's that's all of Craig's makes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> has, that, has anybody, wait a minute, were there one of Debbie's in there throwing one of Debbie's, God love her? <laughs> four of Craig's, and now we've got two of yours. Oh, yay, uh, finally. <laughs> number six, finally, come to the good stuff. Uh, number six, this is Debbie's from yesterday, uh, from Sarah's signature uh, Rose Garden collection with these beautiful uh, foam flowers. You were pretty happy with that one, I think, weren't you? Yeah, I, I do, I, because it's, it's just a beautiful collection. And if anybody knows me really well, and if you did watch the previous show, I adore making flowers with our foam flower. <laughs> <No. laughs> our oh dear me, Ben, help me out. <laughs> foam. With our foam. Flowers. Flowers. Flower forming Flower form. Forming form. I, Flower, adore I, making, do I do adore making them. So yeah, I had time in my life making that card yesterday. And last but by no means least, the one which has won today's <laughs> demo of the day uh, is Debbie's from our craft class earlier on. Again, using the flower forming foam and using that florist box template um, and some oasis in there as well. Not blur, oasis um, <laughs> to, to create that gorgeous, gorgeous uh, floral bouquet. I know loads of you, I don't know if you're able to do this Charlotte, but lots of people like to see them, like the, can we do that or not? Is that asking too much just to see the, the, the look along or not? Oh, Charlotte's <laughs> gonna do it. It'll, it'll only happen in a minute, they'll go, can we see them all in one, in one fell swoop? So yeah, Charlotte's gonna get on the joystick for you here and we'll go along. Okay, so this is the last chance to see them. So here we go. Number one is Craig's Easter Bunny. Number two is Debbie's beautiful card. And then we go three is Craig. Four is Craig. Five is Craig. Is Craig. <laughs> uh, six is our lovely Debbie. And seven is also Debbie. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. You have got 15 minutes to get your vote in. Ooh. Gonna give you a bit of time. All right, 15 minutes to get your vote in, uh, and who will win this week? <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that all right this week? Is that were all right. That were a lot more calmer Excellent. and a lot more easier. <laughs> and yes, yeah, a lot easier. <laughs> All right, uh, let's us have a little look now at the ultimate organiser. Um, the complete collection, 132 elements with this. We're going to have a look at some finished samples with Debbie, uh, but let me give you the details here. So normally 94.95 or 119.75, you're saving almost 22 pounds today or tw almost 28 dollars, triple points, uh, and 73 pounds or 92 dollars. As I said earlier on, I love this for the fact that this is something that you can truly get organised with should you want to do that. But it's also a really nice kit to allow you to create something um, for like your memories and things like that as well. Maybe for, you know, if you have a particular holiday, you can keep your tickets in there and photos and all those kind of things. But what I would say, and, and I'm sure Debbie will back me up on this as well, a lot of people I think get a little bit flustered about this because there's so many different components and there's so many different things that you can um, make with this, but you don't have to use everything all in one go here. You can make it as simple as you want, or you can go completely to town with it as well. There's, there's just lots of components there, you don't have to use lots together. Of there is lots of component. Don't forget, good components. Components. Take that out. But there is, but don't be, don't be flummoxed, don't be flustered. Really simple and easy to put together. Um, lots of ideas as well that we've got. Go back to those tutorials again that I've been talking about. Type it in the YouTube box. Um, go onto our page on Facebook and you'll find lots of tutorials on there with many different ways that you can use the Ultimate Organizer. And it is all about getting organized, but what is it that you want to get organized with? Is it mm. your birthdays? Is it your weddings? Is it journals? What is it that you want to do? And I'm just going to show you a few of these samples, really lovely samples as well. You can personalise these to whatever you want when it comes to your um, your your ultimate organiser. Yeah. So again, you've got all these lovely components on here. I love the fact that it's got this lovely wallet feature. Mm. So if I just hold it up there, you can see this is how easy it is to put together. This is that lovely worker element. But again, then you've got your lovely wallet in there to add all your things that you want to do to get organised with. So like like I said this is just beautiful and this is our lovely Julia that made this one it's absolutely beautiful hang on a minute Debbie I'm nearly knocking it over <laughs> my run, days eh? it was running away with myself there <laughs> but again like anything that you want to do is it a family photos you want to save is it things like um 
more family photos you want to save. <laughs> This, this oh, more family photos. <laughs> Do you know what? It's so hard to see things upside down. It really is. Uh, and I was just going to say, yeah, what more do you want to put in there? More family photos. It's entirely up to you whether you want to put recipes or ingredients for your favourite... Um, what was that cake earlier? Not cake, that pudding. Oh, grasshopper. Grasshopper, yeah. Grasshopper. What about writing your recipe down on there and then sharing it? What about your do lists? What about your ideas that you've got for your cards? Mm. Different card blanks, things like that. What about popping those in there? Really lovely idea and again, really lovely. What about organising yourself for Christmas? I mean, don't know about anybody else, but... <sighs> I can get a bit flummoxed myself for thinking about Christmas. And you've got all these lovely ideas where you've got your little notepad books. I'll tell you the story behind this organiser. We were at Craftaganza a couple of years ago, the very last one that we did. Yeah. And a gorgeous lady from America, and I'm so sorry, I've completely forgotten your name, and I feel terrible because I've still got mine, and I know all the team have that you gifted to us, which was an organiser that she'd crafted and handmade, and that's where the idea came from there. Let's take it into an easy concept in bringing these dies into place so that you can do this yourself. And again, lovely notebook, bollet, and then you've got all your, your space there to put all your notes in, your photos in, any ideas you want. Pop your things like your stamps in one. Oh, yes. What about popping things like little notes to yourself? What is it the, to, to don't forget features that you want to use? And then you can use it and tie it all up together. And this is something that you can carry around with you as well. Nice little gift ideas for people too. Not only that, what about if you are running your crafting for business purposes as in you're selling things on etsy or all those other places that you can you know you can um do this on this is what you could actually sell to yeah you can make them and sell them as much as you actually want and again lovely idea you can actually slip and slide your book into there so that actually comes out you've got all your dates on there so birthdays uh, dates that you don't want to forget really lovely idea that you have got this all to hand debbie's going to try and squeeze that back in without ripping anything because she's terrible for things like that uh but again you've got all that space to put everything that you want in organizing things from your shopping lists to your um, inspirational ideas whatever it is that you want to use it with you've got it in this lovely well it is a nice hand-sized um, organizer not too big but not too small to be able to create your own ultimate organizer a great die set don't be put off very very easy to use go and check out those tutorials that we have online and again Look at the Facebook pages with all our design team. We're always ready and willing to share their ideas with you. Some great, great dies in that collection at a fabulous price again today. Yeah, absolutely. Great time to pick all these up. That's why we uh, bring them to you on Second Chance Sunday. Uh, so you can think to yourself, yeah, I saw that last time. Didn't get it. Want to buy it now. It's a great Second Chance Sunday to do it because you're getting triple points. And last time you will have seen this item, you wouldn't have seen it on triple points. So grab it today. If you're paying, again, full price on that, what's that? It's over 200 and, it's almost 220 points you'd be receiving. Uh, by grabbing this today if you're shopping with us in the UK. Now, the confetti boxes. I love these and sad to say, I, I, can, I think I can safely say I've only done these once before um, on a live show and I absolutely love them. If you love um, sort of cards and projects that do things that, uh, you know, if you loved earlier on the, um, the pop-up sentiments, for example, you're going to love these confetti boxes because they are brilliant. Basically, what you've got the ability to do is make yourself a little box like so, which is um, this particular die here, all right? So 15 elements to create the main box itself. And then you're also going to get in the collection this die here, which creates the boxes which go inside the uh, main box and then you're going to get loads of uh, stamps and dies to decorate them as well and basically I, i've never done one of these before i'm a little bit nervous about this um once you pull this open uh your little boxes whoop, will jump out which is really cool what what you would also do with these as well as debbie was mentioning a little bit earlier on you'd fill these with like little bits of confetti and maybe i don't know um glittery bits and all that kind of stuff so when you know you do open it up you do really way uh, get that uh, glitter and the box is going all over the place um, i love it and they're really really simple to do once again it's just the addition of a, an elastic band inside the box itself to give you that spring and that pop-up so it's such a cool idea as i say within the collection 
You've got the two worker dies if you like to create the boxes. And then on top of that, uh, those by the way, yes, are only available uh, within this collection. So if you want to be able to you know, create the boxes, you need to go for the collection today. But the good news is for 110 or 130, you get so much more because you get all of the decorative elements in here um, as well. So more stamp and die sets to decorate the boxes for all sorts of occasions. So you've got your um, Just To Say, which is kind of um, sort of stars and uh, florals and beautiful sentiments in there as well then on top of that you've got uh, many congratulations um, you've got things like their balloons you've got little hearts and there's a little baby bottle on there as well so it kind of covers off um, everything from birthdays to new babies then you've got a happy anniversary uh, you've got all of your stamps there for your different anniversaries 10 20 25 30 you've got um, bouquets of flowers on there and don't forget stamps and dies for each of those as well also worth bearing in mind that whilst these are perfect for these boxes you'll use these outside of these boxes as well you'll know you, you use these just to decorate up um, other projects too uh, these are your milestone celebrations so again you've got all of your um, different numbers on there uh, with stamps and dies for all of those so you can create boxes for 18th and 21st and 50th whatever it might be and you just know that these are going to be loved by everybody uh, you've then got on top of that the love and marriage collection uh, which is uh, fairly straightforward to kind of um, know what that one's all about and then you finally got your birthday greetings with bows and cakes and hoorays and all sorts going on and on top of that uh, you've got your just to say stamp set as well or enjoy your day um, I should say uh, so that is included also um, and as I say once you've worked these together can I just do one more um, it's, it's so much fun it's the kind of thing that people just come back to time and time again you load it all up and woohoo that one was a good one wasn't it one. I love it. £110 <laughs> or $130 today, saving almost £30 or uh, $35.91. Uh, and of course, uh, triple points if you're a platinum member, uh, £88 or $104. Oh, get back in now. I want to do it again. Uh, we'll just go over to Debbie. Hang on. Wait there. Just one more time. <laughs> I'm just going to do it again. Johnny's like, oh, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Ready? 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 <laughs> right, I stuck. They went over it. They flew miles away. Um, I'll, I'll clear up this mess. Uh, Go over to Debbie. Are these hard to make or not? There, there's a little bit of faff involved, and I yep. say faff. I don't mean that in a horrible way because we've got the worker element that works everything out for you to create that explosion. The bit that you've got to work out is the manipulation, getting it into place and popping your elastic in there as well. But I'm going to show you how you do that. And again, really fantastic idea. Lots of tutorials on our website. Sarah did a gorgeous one where she actually decorated for Simon, her husband, uh, pictures of the little ones on the cubes. It melted my heart when I saw it. And I thought, what a gorgeous idea. The whole idea of this concept is just Fabulous. Uh, do you know what I wish they'd done bigger? Yeah. Then I want them to go bigger Massive with these. Ones. I want to go big boxes. <laughs> um, I might put that forward. <laughs> Whether or not that I'd get through, I don't know. But honestly, I love them. They're fun, they're quirky, they're something that bit different. And it's really nice to revisit these again. Um, so not only have you got the elements of making the outside box, this is the cube element. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I mean by that. So you would pop it onto your chosen coloured cardstock, run it through your machine, and when it comes out, Ben, it comes out, and I, I have already fast forward because I wanted to get this done, and I've just yes, seen fine. the time, and I'm thinking, I want to show you how you put this together. When it comes through the machine, this is the style that you get it into. This is when you need to now start using those score lines because it's got all the outside cutting edge. It's even got your holes for your elastic in there. What you do now, Ben, is this is when you get your bone folder and you start to um, give those lines a nice, those, those, <laughs> uh, the, the score, score lines, lines. <laughs> the score lines are burnish. One thing I will tell you, which is going to be absolutely invaluable to you, is that you've got your instruction booklet in there. I'll talk about the outside box in a moment because that's separate to this, but it is included in this deal. Yes. So you're getting absolutely everything. Uh, but you've got step-by-step -step instructions. And that lovely thing again, not only have you got the written ones, but you've got the worded ones as well, even down to the instructions on how long, how long you have your elastic to get that really tight feel to it. And what you need it to be tight because it's going to give that 
big pop wow factor when it comes out. If you have it too floppy, it'll be really limp, and it won't, it won't, it won't. What are you looking at me like that for? What? It won't, it won't, it won't pop out, then. No, it, it won't pop out. No. So you've got to have it really nice and tight to pop it out. So again, everything literally all explained on there for you, all in the picture instructions. Yes. Then. So with that said, get all those fold lines into place, and it is quite straightforward. One tab goes in. These two little ones there go in. So yeah. I'm just going to lift that up for you so you can see there. You've got that triangular feature. These now fold over. So from that angle, you're going to go in, back, in. So I'll do that again. You're going to go in. In. Yeah. Back. Out. And then out. this part in. Right. And you repeat that on these two sides as well. So you can see that shape. It goes in goes back on itself it comes in now I've got my tape already in and I'm I'm gonna be honest I would use red liner tape for this just because it's super strong and if you're thinking about your elastic as well you want a, a really super strong glue to hold it into place however I need to do a bit of threading before I actually put it together what I'm just gonna do though is connect these two pieces and I'll just show you again even down to these instructions it tells you how to do this Tells you about popping on your tab together, so you're attaching to these two pieces. So if you think about it, they're going the same direction. Can you see that the same direction? Yep. This tab connects onto this. Now, I've done it in two strong colours here so that you can Ooh, see yeah. the difference. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take this tape off. So let me just peel my tape back. And we'll hold that into place now and keep that onto that square and hold that over. Now, what that now means is I've got this flush end of the box. And before I actually seal it to make sure I've got it in place, make sure it's flush either end. And then just give that a nice little burnish again. So I'm going to come back down with that. And that means now I've got those two connecting pieces together, okay? So I'm just going to flatten that out for a time being because now what we're going to do is we're going to use the elastic. This is the bit that won't come in your box. This won't come in your pack package. Uh, but you just need some good, strong elastic bands. Those really cheap, thin ones, Ben, yeah. avoid. Right, okay. Avoid because they're not gonna they're not gonna hold that pop up element. Um, and another little top tip, and our Debs gave me this one was cut your elastic on an angle to help you thread it through. Uh, if you go yes. flat, it yeah. goes it's too blunt. So you want a nice sharp angle when you are so can you see there now I've got that lovely sharp point on my hand and again it just makes it a bit easier when you're threading through here. So I'm gonna take that through, thread it through this end to the two pieces. And then I'm going to tie a knot in this end. So I'm going to pull it through. How are we doing for time, Charlotte? Ten minutes. Ooh. Right. And I'll, we still I'll, got to do the vote of the, the week, and we still got to do the Easter. Exactly. Picture. So I'll be as quick as I can with this bit. But I think once you see this, you'll see it's quite a nice, easy to do. Now this is the bit where I used to do this, and I still do it now because I haven't made one of these for a long time. So I'm saying long time. I made it since I did my prep. Yeah. <laughs> but Seems a long time. <laughs> <laughs> to get your tight um, elastic, it does tell you, and if I remember rightly, I want to, I was going to say two and a half inches, but that's way too long, um, two and a half centimetres, so you want it to be quite tight. Yeah. So with that, I'm going to thread this angle through now. So this other elastic is going to go through the other side. So again, just by having that angle on the elastic, I mean, Debbie, Debbie is another one who's full of top tips all the time, um, literally just saved my life because I was trying to get a blunt end in and it weren't working. No. Uh, so so now, uh, before I actually tie my knot in, I'm just going to see if that is two and a half centimetres. Take my ruler, a little bit big, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter. That'll be about right, won't it? And it's definitely, Debbie's just checking, two and a half centimetres. It will be. I were going to put two and a half inches, and I'm thinking, no, that's a bit big. You need a bigger a box, on the I think. Big side. <laughs> We don't want it to be that size at all. Um, but again, that tight feature on your elastic. So just pull it together just to make it a little bit easy for yourself until you get your knot into place. Now, before you do do it too tight, just again, double check your length. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. In fact, let me just go in a little bit close because I'm going to go in with a nice tight box for this. Let's just pull that in. Go with a little closer knot, absolutely fine. And then you can take this bit off here, so you can chop that down. Um, before you do though, make sure that that works fine because you can always take this back out to, you know, to get that in there. So again, you can see now, can you see that nice tightness? Yeah, uh -huh. What we're gonna do now is, and this is when I say it becomes a bit of a, the, the, the faff bit, yeah. yeah. So you're just gonna pull this to one side. So I'm gonna just open that up for a second and put that down. 
these two flaps come inwards and that one goes in and it attaches to this panel here so can you see these two straight pad panels yeah those two need to attach i just took those folds underneath so i'm going to hold that back pull that back hold it down with something bottle of glue hand mm. arm whatever it is that you want to hold it into place <laughs> But you'll find a way, you'll find a way that works for you, I promise you. Um, but it's just stretching that elastic and then pull those two pieces off. I've got my two flaps tucked underneath, so I'm going to hold that into place. And then I'm just going to bring that across and then again, just give it a nice little burnish. Yep. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. So that now connects to, and I'm just going to go in so I can show you, pull that bit down, stretch that bit out. And these two bits need to tuck underneath as well then. So let me see if I can do it this way. I'm, I'm just conscious of the camera angle. Whether know, or not it's you not, can it's see never it. easy, upside it's, down, Yeah, so front, I'll do it, I'll do it this it. way so yeah. you can see it. And then again, I'm just gonna do the same there where I take these two pieces it's, off. It's red liner tape you've used as well, right? Uh, yes, red mm. liner tape, because it is, like I said, it's super, super strong. This is the what I call the fiddly bit, but it's worth it yeah. for that lovely, wow factor that when your recipient receives this i love red liner tape but it doesn't half get stuck to places where it shouldn't be sticking to move move <laughs> <laughs> so, so what i'm going to do now is connect again those two pieces to this bit so again i'm going to tuck that underneath let's go let me just let me turn that that way around so i can do it better and there we go we're going to just tuck that underneath so it connects to that top part yeah so again, I'm going to go in and then I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to tuck that underneath that flap, pop that down. And then finally, what we're going to do is connect this flap to this piece here. Can you see it? So before I actually tuck that down in and make sure I've got it nice and flush, I'm going to check that I've got all my angles right. Absolutely perfect. And then I'm just going to lift off now that tape underneath. I'm ah, going to seal yes. it. So I hope that explained it. Like I said, it's the only bit of the faff that I would say is the faffy bit. But what you get now is, I wonder if we can just show you this from this angle, Charlotte. Can we do it from front? Let's go to the front so you can see it. So when you pop it up, woohoo! So there you go. That is how you get an, and this is the bit that I'm saying with that, making sure everything is tight inside with that elastic. So it's worth making that little feature of getting it absolutely perfectly tight to that two and a half centimetres. And again, the red liner tape is going to be your best friend with this one. I've tried it with the tape pen. I know our tape pen is extremely strong glue, but to get that lovely, um, um, secure seal red liner tape is the best thing for you so Real. that is how you put yours together how are we doing for time we are we got about five minutes you're gonna decorate it all up <laughs> Here's what I made earlier yeah. then. Here's what I made earlier. And you're going to pull that out. And oh, I had a flop there. I had a flop. I had a little flop of it. They I, needed to come out I and got pop a out. One here. And put your confetti in. Stick your confetti in there. And the more boxes you get in as well, the more of a wow factor. So if you can get four boxes in, go for the four because it does make a difference. But you've got all these features to actually decorate everything up with. It's absolutely sensational. Benny, you ready with your box? Three, two, one. Yay! Yay! Brilliant! It. Absolutely um, brilliant. Uh, Nina just saying, love those confetti boxes. I'm planning to make them for a summer theme and decorate the outside like a popsicle and attach the stick to use as a pull tab. Love that idea. Uh, still in the planning stages. Oh, we've had a message from Bernie. Uh, Bernie uh -oh. says, I've just been catching up on the shows. I am now crying into my cup of tea. <laughs> well done though, Debbie. And Ben, you can borrow it, but we need photos. Thank you. Listen, we're going to do the uh, vote. We've got the result in for the demo of the week in just a second. But before that, shall we announce the winner uh, of today's Easter picture or this show's Easter picture? Uh, basically, if we show your picture now, you are going to get yourself into tomorrow's draw to stand the chance of winning yourself £50 or $50 to spend. Got loads of names already inside here. And uh, the name that we're going to add into this one now is... Wendy, congratulations, Wendy. Here's the picture that you sent. Uh, that's using the oh, woodland animals, isn't it? Yeah, um, the Easter bunny, the woodland... Yeah. Woodland friends. Woodland friends. Um, so congratulations, Wendy. You are, I'm just writing your name down here. Uh, you are now a step closer to winning. Second chance Sunday, £50 or $50 uh, when we do that draw tomorrow. There's your name, look. Um, not very well cut out. Uh, but I'll pop it into the little egg. 
with all those other names. Uh, it could be you getting drawn out on Monday Makers tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, so still more chances to win. Uh, good luck if you are in there. Right, the demo of the week. Thank you for all of your votes. It was a close run thing, but I can reveal that this week's winner is... Card number six, Debbie Robinson, you've done it! Yeah! Congratulations! <laughs> She's so oh, nice! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, I'm getting a little lover! Oh, mwah. thank you very much! We're not competitive at all! We're not competitive at all! Oh, I'm in the lead! It's the first time I've ever been in the lead in anything in my life! Oh, three, three! Although I'm just saying, can I'm just digging? Bernie, your star is amazing. I want one of them stars. Uh, but, oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Three. I think, I think someone's a bit excited over the other side of the studio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Craig did have four entries this week. Yes, and he sadly <laughs> didn't win. That is your winner this week. The, uh, the card of the week. The demo of the week. Uh, congratulations to Debbie. And thank you for all of your votes. It's all just a bit of fun, as I say. Uh, and the guys absolutely love it. So thank you. Hey, listen, that has been a brilliant Easter Sunday, isn't it? If you've got stuff in your carts, in your baskets, make sure you check them out. Um, Debbie, thank you so much. I've had the best time with you the last couple of days. And you're here tomorrow as well, aren't you? I am indeed. Do you know what? It's made up for working over Easter. Thank Aww. you very much. That's made my day. Uh, yes, I'm here again tomorrow with Joe. We have got, well, Craig's got his wake up call at 12 o'clock, uh, and then I've got uh, the craft along with the pop out sentiments, that lovely drop down stage card, and then we've also got Monday Makers. So, yeah, we've got a nice busy day ahead again. So, if you're not doing anything on your Easter Monday, come and join us for a day of crafty fun and inspiration, which I can guarantee you will get. And again, kick starting with our lovely Craig and Joe in the well. 12 p.m. Yeah, 12 p.m. It's going to be brilliant. And don't forget as well, last chance to get your triple points. So definitely worth tuning in for. Uh, and we will be drawing the winner of our £50 or $50. Thank you so much for all your love today and all of your comments. Um, I've got a week off now, taking a uh, week off, spend some time with the family because it's the school holidays here in the UK. So we're uh, going to spend a week or so uh, with my wife and the kids. But I'll be back with you um, a week tomorrow here on Crafters TV. So have a brilliant uh, rest of your Easter. I will see you uh, in a week. Big thank you to Jake and also to to Charlotte and Johnny for all of their help today as well, making it so smooth and so professional most of the time. Uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday. Uh, bye for now. Hey guys, right, let's kickstart your week tomorrow morning on Wake Up Call with Craig. I'm going to be previewing many of the things that you're going to see coming up throughout Monday. That's going to be 12pm here in the UK, 7am Eastern Time. And then what I want you to do is I want you to join Joe and Debbie for an incredible craft along. This is all about our pop-out sentiments. Now what I need you to do is I need you to go into social and have a look at the list of all the products that you are going to need to make the project. But have a look at the sort of thing that you could be doing when it comes to these sentiments here. This is just one of many options that will be available. That is then going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and I know it's a show that you're not going to want to miss.